Hey, listen. I'm just new saying. trenches. Here we here. Listen, uh, Speed, shout out to that brother Speed, man. For sure, for sure. Uh, Speed had something to take care of. The kid that did. Indeed, man, indeed. The kid that did. And still do. And still do. Shout out to my the brother. The kid that did, man. The kid that did. Yeah, Speed, yes, Speed has something come up. Had to miss uh, praying for that brother. Everything's going to be okay. Speed's okay. Uh, yeah, but we're going to catch him up on the flip side. You know, he's going to be all right. I actually was in the weight room with that boy today. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we back at, back at it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, no. So look, it's Desire and Tim Pots. So you're going to listen to us argue for uh, two hours or whatever. <laughs> However long this shit end up going. So <laughs> God bless. We got some God shit. bless. We to got my some. right, my brother. My brother, I got his back. He got my front for sure. Uh huh. Tim, what's up, man? Hey, man. What's up? What's up, world? Hey, look, y'all. You know, in, in preparation for, you know. Here we go. Little All Star festivities, man. You know, a little Ooh, hoop. All Star. A, a little hoop. <laughs> A little hoop session was going on. You know what I mean? Oh, you, my oh, man. you skipping the weekend. You skipping the weekend. Give me my love before you give me my hate. That's all I'm asking. What you asking for? I, all I'm asking is if we go, if we gonna recap the time that we had between this pod and the last, let's start with the love <gasps> and then let's go to the hate. I wasn't even going there. I was gonna talk about myself. But since you want to do that, yeah, that's fine. Let, let, but that's cool. Let's get into the let's get into the whole thing. First of all, can we check in today? How you doing today? Life is good. <laughs> <laughs> Life is I good. I just want to start PC, two, things. <laughs> <laughs> two things. Two things. I promise me and Tim not going to disagree the whole pod. That's one. And two, just understand Tim Try. showed up to not talk about anything. He not came up to not talk about football the whole day. But I'm cool. I'm with it. I ain't play. Wow. I don't care. I don't care. Not football the whole day? <laughs> hey, look. Hey, look. No, we don't get there. Let's just, let's just start with... I, I let, I, I, honestly, I'll let you tell it. And then I'll go if you want me to go. But... You tell how, I, I, how was the week we potted on Monday. Right. Let's start. Yeah. Let's, let's, you know what I mean? Let's go from there. So, ladies and gentlemen, we potted on Monday. You know, it was just, everybody was just really in the chat, really active this week. You know, they were, everybody was active. Everybody wanted the, oh, I'm back. I'm back outside. Let's get the hoop sessions going. Great. Oh, you. See, you I'm you, starting from the top. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm starting from the top of it. So, everybody like, oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We about to go hoop or whatever like that. Cool, hoopty whoop. So, we hit the we hit the group chat, let people know what time, where to be, who doing what, who need to show up. So, the first person that showed up, Brother Speed. What day was this? This was on this was Thursday. Was this Thursday? No, this was early in the week. Mm. I think Speed popped up on me on Tuesday because you hoot Monday. Didn't you hoot Monday? No, nah, that was Saturday. That was Saturday? So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so it was Tuesday. Mm -hmm. He popped out with me Tuesday. So, he popped how out that, with how me. How'd that go? Popped out with me Tuesday. Good run. Respect. Great run. Great, Great run. run over okay. at the gym. Yes, sir. He got the first dub. He gained me. Oh, y'all was on opposite teams. We were on opposite teams. Oh, okay. okay. We were on opposite teams okay. this time. He gained you, you said? He gained me. Okay. He shout gained, out to that kid. Shout me. out to the kid that did. He, he sprayed me. He sprayed me. You know what I'm saying? He gained Boss. me. <clears throat> but there's always more. There's always a game, too. Tell your side. I mean, Speed's obviously not here to defend himself. Exactly. So Let's there, be conscious of that, brother. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm, I, that's all. I kind of just want to leave it there. There's oh. always a game, too, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay. And just understand that I just kept, I kept playing. Okay. You kept playing. That I, I kept playing. Okay. After after all the shenanigans, okay. it was one man standing. Good for you. All right. All right. Good. And, and I can't wait for him to come back so he can rebuttal. Ooh. You know what I mean? There it is. And, but as we move on in the week, mm -hmm. right? As we move on, we progress. Um, you know, more conversations had, more texts. And then here we go. We're back at the gym on, I think, what, Saturday? See, you skipping. Skipping what? around. See, look, I look, didn't look. move. All I don't I'm, know if you All, 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 all I'm going to say is, that's what I asked. Just look, look, just start with the love before we go to the hate. <laughs> What's the love? Monday. Now, for all of us, first of all, let me be honest with you. I am personally, first of all, let me check in. Hi, you guys. <laughs> Thank you all for asking. Yeah, I'm doing good. Y'all yeah, been enjoying myself. What he said, feeling good, living better. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Some of them Drake Jones, you really gotta listen. I ain't gonna lie. Don't ask me why, what I was going through, what mood I was in. Okay. But that last verse on Marvin's room is actually crazy. Don't ask me why I spun that joint though. Leave me alone about that. But that last verse when he really, he really get the rapping on that joint. But. Everybody don't get it. You, it's hard to get past the phone call nowadays. You just skip the phone call. Let me get back into what I had going on. Now you got me rethinking. <laughs> but, yeah, no, nah, so we were recording. So, like I said, typically 
even when I all I listen to uh, JBP, uh, Pivot, uh, any other podcast, anything, Earn Your Leisure, I listen in the car. And when I'm in the car, I'm listening in the car. I'm listening while I'm working out. So I'm not a real watch the pod. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, damn, that pod didn't even drop yet. No. Oh, damn, I'm tripping. Forget that. Forget that whole point. <laughs> Mind you, let's just say last time we were potting on Monday, because, see, he want to start with the hate. Let's start with the love. On Monday, while we were recording, was when Joel B dropped 70 points mid-pod. Oh, my God. We were God. here working. We were here working, and I'm getting alerts. Whoa, I'm damn, y'all know Joel got 56 and a half? <laughs> y'all know that? Damn, all right, that's cool. Don't Mid-pod, worry about it. That's Regular okay. thing. And B dropped the 70. Damn. Immediately sitting on the couch. No weight. Look, all right, look. And we're going to get into this because uh, I love y'all. I got I got love for y'all. <laughs> I actually, somebody pressed me about my fandom today in the building. Really? I'm not going to name no names, Conti. <laughs> but somebody pressed me about my NBA loyalty, my NBA allegiance today <laughs> in the building. I got pressed. I did. It's cool. I'm a big boy. I stand firm in all my beef. I keep telling you that. Not that it's ever beef. Me and Conti are family. We can never do that. <laughs> but immediately on the couch, I need them seats right now. Boom. That's Book them right here on the couch mid pot. No, I'm not playing. And B coming to Indianapolis on Thursday, fresh off the 70 point uh, bucket session. I need to. I need to see how they finna act. You That's know what I'm saying? Friend. At the time, I wasn't sure what Hollabert was doing. Siakam, big trade, needed to understand dynamics. True, 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 true. true you get true. what I'm saying? I'm cool. Don't care. I'm pulling up to see the guys. Now, I understand where I'm at. I understand who pay my bills. <laughs> we in the animals. I already told you that. We jumped in. Don't do me like that. No, you sir. know what I'm saying? I'm a transplant, <laughs> but guess what? I'm a member, so don't do me like that. It's family. You know what I mean? So, we get to the joint. Brother Tim joined us at the game. He skips over this. Brother Tim pulled up. <laughs> Corp side. I skip over it? Corp side, feet on wood. Hey. Feet on land. Hey. Talk, we right. Talking we, crazy we, yeah, to my yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> we right there. You can't even, look, you can't even stretch your legs out. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You gonna trip somebody? You liable to trip somebody? You liable to get a tech? You can't even raise your voice. Hey Pat, what up, Pat? Yes, sir. Hey, we hollering at Pat Bev out there. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Team Maxi. Yeah, man. See you already buddy. know we right next. We right next to the bench. So I need I need people to understand. So first of all, just to be honest, let's fast forward to the game. Mm. Worst game experience I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> what? I'm be honest with you. And I okay. probably didn't set course side maybe like six times at this point. Mm. When I'm in Philly, I don't pay for them, though. Let me just start there. Indianapolis. Come on, bro. If y'all really want my loyalty, you got to buy it. Come on, gang. Like, y'all making me pay for my tickets, gang. Like, I ain't broke, but damn, dog. Like, can them all get that discount? Even though I heard that they don't give, uh, I heard they don't give uh, Pat McAfee uh, the discount for his suite for in the, the uh, Colts game either. Okay. That's crazy, That Pat. is wild. <laughs> Back if he let, let's take a stand. Nah, please don't. Cause I'm gonna catch a pick six and jump in your suite one day. So don't even worry about that. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> but look, worst game experience I ever had. So usually when I'm court side, to be honest with you, I'm either uh I'm trying to think. When I was in Philly, um, we was watching the, them play the Lakers, okay. Braun, A D. Yeah. Um, we was on the opposite side. Uh shout out to my boy, uh, really? Shout out to my boy Smitty. Shout out to uh, Devontae Smith. Shout out to AJ. Oh yeah, out there yeah. we was courtside. We was we was bulling it. Good Jones. Good vibes. Yeah, me and me and AJ bet a little something on the OT. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna get into all that. <laughs> la, 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 la. That's that's little that's in the mix convos. That's for when I catch AJ, AJ in traffic again. We ain't gonna get into that. But <laughs> uh, yeah, usually it's right there. Usually I'm under the basket. This time I'm like oh, I just want to be on the side, bro. So it's the Sixers bench. It's like a scores table, announcers table. Mm-hmm. It's a row of seats. Then it's the Pacers bench. So we like literally the first seat closest to the Sixers bench. So, yeah, yeah. Now I don't know this at the time. I just see, you know, what I'm saying, of course I joined Woody Woop. I made a play, whatever it was, right? Worst fucking seats in the house, bro. <gasps> Nick Nurse oh, yeah. stood in front of me <laughs> the entire game, bro. The entire game, bro. Yeah, and what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to tell the head coach why he coaching? Yo, bro. Uh, yo, my man. Can you just move a little to the left? I can't really see. 
I can't really. I just missed the last transition, bro. You trying? This nigga ain't worried about whatever us. three. Whatever three they just made, I missed it, bro. I'm the whole game. I'm nah. Around my man, like <laughs> worst game experience I've ever had. Terrible time and shit. I, I, I enjoyed it, I bro. I damn near wanted my money back. Like, that's how bad <laughs> I couldn't see, see the game. game. I saw the game. Nurse, and nurse my did. knee hurting. I can't even stretch my Stand. leg out because I fuck around trip him. Maybe you should have did that, though. I should have tripped him? No, nah, you should have you, know you know how the NBA get. You should have left uh, your leg. First of all, and I'm going to let you get into your course side experience. But Thank you. One thing I did peep the last time was, bro, NBA refs are way more spicy than the in the NFL refs? Yes. No, for sure. Yes. For sure. First of all, for they sure. power walking up using all hips, arms, shoulders. One. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They getting all the 15. <laughs> way. It's like, damn. Damn, bro. And it's they really one call. Out. I ain't going to lie. I like they fits better than us, though. Like, our shit got the zebras and shit. They yeah. shit a little more pink. It's like, gray yeah, with the number on massive, the back. Yeah. yeah. So they get their shit off just a little bit better, though. Yeah. And I feel like, Brody, they, Brody and I feel the, like they can rock the sneaks, too. If they he had won. the hokas on. The hokas. The referee did have the hokas on. Shout out to the hokas. I actually got me a little hoker, a little sponsor. Shout out to the hokas. Shout out to the hokas. Yeah, we talking about the sponsorships. This ain't an ad. (laughs) (laughs) But if we did. As I drink the Celsius. (laughs) (laughs) But no, I mean, bro, I can't lie. It was a... It was a time, bro. I said there's like his nurse, like obviously everybody knows like what a coach's box is on uh for NBA NBA teams during like certain periods of the time. Where I was sitting, and there was really only one seat over, nurse really didn't come up. <laughs> look, nurse ain't really he, said he enjoyed his experience. <laughs> he said, I don't hey, know. Look, I don't nurse. know. And you know what's crazy? I peeped that though. I peeped that though. But look, look, look. Tim, tell him I'm thorough. Cause look, hey. when we went to get drinks and came back, I was in front and I really was about to snake him <laughs> for the for the better seat. But I'm like, no, nah, I ain't gonna do dog. Like, go ahead Bro. and take the job. Did I, did I not? Because <laughs> no, you, you really, thought about it, too. You really though. good, though. But I niggas almost, gra- when niggas grab. But you know what, did. though? I, you know what, though, bro? I really respect that you allowed that to happen because I think that I really we really put the play in for the pizza, though. And you knew that shit was busting? What, you talking about the back? Yeah. I ain't gonna. We can get I, ain't, there. I, ain't, I ain't gonna get in the game. We can get in there. We, gonna, we can get there. We can get the game, get in the game. But look, <laughs> this is all I'm saying is that no, definitely the game experience was super crazy. Um, watching. I feel like watching a game, for me, watching a game like that that close, you kind of go from, like, open gym, in my mind. Like, it go from, like, open gym vibes to, like, oh, no, this is actually, a, like, a real NBA game. Like, it'd be certain shit that go on. You like, oh, damn, that's a that's a league move. Oh, <laughs> damn, this the NBA. Like, yeah, oh, shit. Like, yeah. you be like, damn, but. Oh, these motherfuckers really, really? 7-2. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. to watch, like, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, to watch and be kind of, like, just. Just his ability to like really stop a game in mid game and he go ISO. It like when you watching on TV, you like, damn, Joel, like what's, what's up, bro? Like, go ahead, get get busy. Then you recognize like anything that he do from this point in time right now, if you don't stop his first move, he's gonna score. Yeah. So you gotta like, you have to really sit there and wait for him to do something. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. It actually yeah. is crazy. Yeah. It's crazy yeah. to he see that. Some shit out there. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie though, the Pacers got on the Sixers' ass. I ain't gonna care. They did. That's a fact. Now, Hollibur didn't play, uh, but Siakam went crazy. He had the 30 with the triple-double. Yeah, 30. He had the, triple the 30, triple-double. B had the 30, but he ain't even play in the fourth. Yeah. Maxie had like 25, he ain't even play. Yeah. It was a good little John, though. O'Connell, um... Tap turned up out there. Yeah, nah, the Pacers, the Pacers got a good squad. OB, shout out to OB. OB. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to Major, shout out to OB Top. Yeah, man, they, them boys was crazy. cooking. Yeah, I, I had my little back and forth with Nick. Yeah. Great, hey, bro. <laughs> that's, a rich, that's, a, that's a rich man conversation. I ain't, I can't use the N-word right there. <laughs> but it's a rich Cause man. Because a nurse? Bro, no, nah, just because there was just a lot. It was a lot going on. It was on a lot right going there, on? Bro. That was a lot. All right, so, all right, so Tim don't want to. I'm going to tell the story then. <laughs> so, look, so we had, so, look, we had the game. Mind you, it was about third quarter. And I ain't going to lie, the Sixers, I mean, the Pacers got on the Sixers' ass. I ain't going to lie, they did. Early in the Sixers game. Sixers my team. I ain't going to do that. But sure. the Pacers cooked them. I'm talking about they up 30. It's yeah. bad. It is what it is at this point. Yeah. You know, the uh, Sixers got young bulls in the game. You could tell they just trying to get them some minutes. They trying to work them in. It's, it's at that point. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they just, you feel me? Y'all know the NBA. They, all, they don't really Shout care out to about K. Martin. The game. Oh, yeah. Shout out to K. Martin. But, For sure. So, 
I forget what it's like third quarter paces up 30. At this point, my man Tim had a few shots. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we had the game, and I could tell at this point, he realized, like, all right, I'm not about to get a good game. I'm about to make sure I have a good experience. <laughs> so now he's starting to yell at the players. Now, mind you, I'm in this weird <laughs> mode right now because y'all tell y'all, like, I'm a still a, a, a fanatic, like, at the same time, but. I might bump into these niggas. So I'm not really out here really finna wham him out, but he out there, yo, Pat. Yo, oh, all right, ref. He yelling at the ref. He asked one of the uh, Sixers coaches what they play was. <laughs> Shit was getting out of hand because we really in a huddle. She getting crazy out For there. Real. So look, I'm like, I'm out there. We chilling. So then. Hey, but he ain't going to tell you. Look, he ain't going to tell you that we on our, we on our fandom shit, right? The coach come over and hand us the little score sheet. Jump. Like, yeah, he hey, did. He did. It's the plus he did, minus. He did. He yeah, because I'm locked in with y'all, bro. Come on, job. bro. Shout out to bro, too. He, yeah. uh, he a former coach, too. Shout out to Cole, dog. Yeah, yeah, he a coach. Shout, shout, shout out to yeah. dog. Yeah, he yeah. definitely put on. Dang. But no, so look. So look, it's third <laughs> quarter. We lit. I ain't going to lie. I'm a little schmiz, so I ain't going to care. I did. I ain't going to lie. Right, look, it's the all season, baby. Leave me alone. I told you. we AFC, NFC championship game. I get it. Mahomes. Four Super Bowl in six years. I understand. Whoop we gonna do. get there in a real quick minute. Just hold on. Skip ahead if you need. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we at the game and shit. Third quarter, like I said, Pace is doing their thing, whatever, whatever. It's a free throw. Nick Nurse just had a he having a long day. You could tell he really wanna go sit down, but you the score the young dictating goals. him to go stand yeah. up and go do shit. So like, you feel me? So they shooting a free throw. And he just cop a squat. Like, you feel me? He just trying to rest his legs in the middle of a uh, free throw. Tell him, yo, what's up, coach? Uh, coach hit us with him. All right, you feel me? I'm like, damn, we being unruly. We being unruly courtside fans right now. So, I, so I'm like, so I'm like, damn, hey, coach. I said, hey, I'm from Philly. You know, we about, we been on the same house right now back in uh, Woody Woop. Breaking your conversation. He said, what? First he tried, and first of all, when he said <laughs> what, he was kind of on some like, what does nigga just say? Like, it's no way. All the, it's no all, way. Yeah, all the energy, <laughs> all this face motion, all that. Because he looked at me like, what you just say to me? Like, hold, hold, hold. It's no way. Like I told you, I'm a little smith. I'm a little aggressive too. So hold on, we can slap by right here. Don't, look, the left still, Nick Nurse, bro. The left still sharp. Don't, don't raise it. Nah, That's I'm playing. crazy. So look. <laughs> Nick, no, he said, what? I said, yo, coach, like I told you, look, I'm from Philly. That house you try and bid on at the woody woody woop yeah, that joint that's uh such and such, this mount, yeah, that one. Fall back off that joint. Man, you trying to get the same one. He said, <laughs> what he does for the guy, I said, what he do? Immediately. He said, like, he started laughing, he shake his head, he talking about something. That shit crazy. Ain't it? I said, <laughs> he said, hey, look, he said, hey, look, but the thing is, though, like, nurse, really, that was the funniest <laughs> part to me, bro. It's like, you know. Where it's kind of like we don't when you catch somebody attention, and you ain't like you ain't like a homeboy or somebody like that. You be like, you know, uh, Marcus or something like such something like that from thirty fourth. He, yeah, that's my dog. <laughs> that nigga, he, he, he I said, him he said, woody woody woo. Nurse came around. He, yeah, you know that backyard woody woo. I said, damn, <laughs> niggas is on it. That's yeah, no, nah, that's shout, your, shout out that was nurse. the highlight of the night, shout bro. Out to Nick shout out to Nick Nurse. We had shout out to Nick Nurse, bro. And forty five. Shout out Nick Nurse, though. Yeah, y'all crazy. <laughs> but no, we had a good time, man. It was a good joint. Like I said, feet on land. Shout out to all the fans. Shout out to all the members. For sure. That hit us on the grand. Hit us on the whatever, whatever. Y'all seen us on the TV. Yeah. Yeah, man. Y'all know yeah. we outside. We moving around. Look, we in the city, man. Yeah. Y'all say, oh, DZ be outside? Yeah, I'll be outside, man. Look, I told you I'm an Indian animal, man. As long as, oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? Long, long, They're look, not Indian animals. Look, as long as y'all are have me, I love you back, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's so look, look, that's the look. Go ahead, get into your hate so we can move on to football. Go ahead. No, so what I, happened on Saturday? Go ahead. Let's get into it. No, Saturday, man, we just had a great hoop session, bro. It was okay. A good, a good yeah, time. We had a good little session. Yeah, okay. the guys okay. came through. Mm-hmm. I, like I said, we go, hopefully we get everybody. Uh, yeah, we ain't get the job. It was, it, was just, who had the, it was just me and you, right? Yeah, it was just me and you right, out there right, hooping right. this time. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully, like I said, we'll be able to catch some more runs later on. Yeah, so. no, we got to get a run maybe in tomorrow or something. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, yeah, we'll get some time. Oh, there's speed speed out there. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, when he get back. We probably still yeah. get one in, though. But, uh, we can. Yeah, good little run. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was All a good All right, look, look, look. I'm going to look, look. I ain't look, going look, there, so bro. Look, Don't so go there. Pull, Don't so go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to just get into it. And look, like I said, football on the way. I promise. I promise. <laughs> just wait. Football coming. Listen, so I get it. Look, look. We pull up to the hoop session. I'm going to be honest with you. Look, this. <laughs> take it what you want. I ain't really went to an open run in like two and a half years. I'm going to keep That's it fine. P. That's really what happened. So we pull up. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? I'm outside. You, I'm all right. Look, we in a little LA. You know what I'm saying? Good John. Good yeah, little crowd. Good First vibes. of all. 
And I was trying to explain this to people. It's a lot of people out here that don't understand, like, like open gym culture, like L.A. fitness uh, basketball coach. When you walk in, as soon as you walk in, immediately you got to let it be known. Yo, who got next? Like, For sure. What's the game going on? We walk in. It's four people. That it's uh, what they got a little four and four going on over here. Right, little one on one going on right here. First yeah. of all, one on ones ain't happening, gang. I ain't gonna hold you. It's not time for the one on ones. Y'all need morning. to finish up. Yeah, game, the game point right now. <laughs> y'all got to finish up. We about to use all this. You for know what sure. I mean? Yeah, for so, sure. Yeah, let's let's keep it be. So I ain't gonna hold you. Like I said, I'm I'm a little. You feel me? So I'm I'm playing the cut. I'm just trying to see what's going on. Tim hop right on. You're. He walked right in the middle of their game. <laughs> the four and four. He walked right in the middle. Damn near grabbed the ball, hit a huh, huh. No, so wait, who, who y'all say? Y'all got what? Y'all trying to run up? Oh, all right. Man, what's, up? <laughs> what's going on? All right. Yeah, I'm, damn, I see. I'm like, all right. I see the type time Tim on out here. Cool. I'm keep, Like I said, I'm keeping it P. I ain't really doing, I ain't really doing too much. I ain't really making too much noise. You know what I'm saying? Just understand that. <laughs> so then we get in the John Woo. Woo they finish up. The young boys that was doing the one on ones. I mean, they was playing one, one, uh, one-on-one. They ended they up leaving. They ain't playing so bad. Yeah. We just going to hop in with them. Ooh, I think, you know what I'm saying, two of them sat. We ended up getting a four and four. It's cool, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Me and Tim on the same team. Now, <laughs> understand something. I'm out there, and like I said last time, and also, let me say this. Let me apologize for how I came off last time. I ain't apologizing specifically. I stand on shit that I be saying. I ain't walking nothing back. <laughs> Let me say, I love the fans, but I don't, I don't ever want y'all to feel like I don't. I appreciate y'all, like I said, just as much as y'all appreciate me, baby. Y'all know who y'all who I do it for, though. That's a fact. So let's not even do all that. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm out and about, like, just understand, like, where I'm from. So I move a little certain way. I just not, I ain't, I just ain't that type. It's a lot of your favorite athletes that walk in. I'm uh EJ Speed. You feel me? Not saying speed not it speed is, on that, but it's a lot of people that walk in. <laughs> hey, I'm Zaire Franklin. Yo, y'all know me. Back to back, uh, yeah, yeah. A <laughs> lot of people do shit like that. Just yeah. understand, I ain't one of the cornballs like that. I just keep it thorough. Okay. So we walk in, they, damn, you play football? Nah, yeah, sometimes on the weekends. Yeah, look, come on, let's get this right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we get it in, woo woo. We playing. Now, I peep the problem, child. I peep him. He on our team. Or no, he on the opposite team. Opposite team. But he about to rumble somebody over a foul. He get plucked up. Oh, he getting yeah, in his face. He little as shit. Yeah, he all, oh, I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm laughing. Mind you, I feel like I'm just a side character in a TV <laughs> show at this point. Like, like, this shit ain't about me. I'm just watching everybody's shit going on. Now, we get to a point in the game. Shit. Dog hit a little jumper and shit. He get the poking his I'm oh, all right. Like, niggas really in this joint. Relax. Hey, crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Acting greasy. They get gangster on Saturday. I'm like, man. bro, like, yeah, I'll stay. But I'll be under yeah, that's what that was, bro. It's the NBA. Yeah, this is LA 2K, NBA. 2K runs, YouTube channel. Swear. Yeah, it's that. It's like that. they about to, yeah, yeah. It's about to get the Mary this all that. Mary Mary Fistmas. Everything. For sure. Buddy, no, nah, yeah. Buddy was wildin' though. Like uh <laughs> it was it was a different run in that joint that that day. It ain't always like that though. It ain't always, it ain't always like, like that. that all right, but Tim like was that. adding to the energy though. Tim out here. Hey, bro. Tim out here, Coach Carter. <laughs> he yelling at young boy. Yo, you 6'3". Hey. You 6'3". Get the yeah. ball. Go up. Go up. What you? I'm yo, Tim. Why you coaching people up out here? Fam. Bro, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Look, this is what I'm going to say to you, bro. <laughs> Dude, this is what I'm gonna Every say. Every time he say this, is what I'm gonna say he do, he lying. Bro, look, this is what I'm <laughs> saying, bro. Is you gotta understand that. And I and you know what? Not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that you haven't seen runs like that because you probably have when we was back at Q's. All I'm saying to you is that when it's a good run, I promise you, you don't have to talk. No, you don't. Because everybody, have, everybody, every, know ball. everybody know what they're doing. Yeah, yes. So when that's you that's got that's somebody that. out there that's six three and the run not great, and you not and you bro and you not doing what you're supposed to do, I'm already out here on turkey time. Because I'm out here fucking with you. I'm out here on turkey time already. And I'm not taking every shot. So the fact that I'm not taking every shot and you got a wide open lane and you 6'3", because imagine, if I was 6'3", I would take every shot. If you were 6'3", what you be on? I would take every shot. You AI? Bro, what? <laughs> no question. Bro, if I was six, bro, respectively, if I was 6'2", six, 6'1", I, six six I would take every NBA. shot. Huh? One more time? NBA? Like, the league? Nah, I ain't, I ain't league. I'm overseas for sure. For sure, no, what not? No, no doubt about Where it. The bullshit, Jones. Like, and uh, I'm not. I probably. No, I ain't gonna hold you. I probably. I probably land in Mexico City first. Hit Istanbul. 
hit uh my my last stop would probably be Prague. So you mapped this out. For sure. I had a plan. <laughs> Look, I had a plan now. He said I, I had, had a plan. plan. And he played like that. I ain't gonna lie. He did. Yeah, he pop, pop, pop. Yeah, you know I mean, Tim was putting on out there for sure. Good job. Yeah, nah. Fast forward to main man. We get on the same team a couple <laughs> runs later. I ain't done with dog. We get on a we get on the team a couple teams later. He yo, right here, right here. I swear to God, I'm on the court. I look around. I look. My, I said, is he pointing at me? <laughs> he hey. Said, hey, yeah, I'm pointing at you. Pick right here. When I point at you, pick right here. That's when I had to hop in. Yo, bro, don't talk to me like that. Hey, yo. Like, first of no. all, <laughs> na- nigga, don't speak to me like I'm just a uh, big dum dumb over here. Like, bro, what we got going on? Guys? Hey, yo, no, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. When he did that and you got out of character, I said, oh, this nigga, it's over now. Yeah, because I'm like, hold on, bro, hold on. Now let me, let me start raising up on niggas and letting y'all know I'm actually the most athletic nigga <laughs> on the court. <laughs> Let's stop playing around and shit. I'm out here for cardio. Y'all out here. Hey, I crazy. promise you, that shit was a funny. He, hold on, gang. Yeah, like, yeah. Look. we. This is what we ain't doing. This is <laughs> what we ain't doing. We but yeah, no, nah, it was, nah, a, it was a good runs, joint, good run. We getting runs nah. in. Hey, you might catch Z and Tim at your, at your nearby rack. We might go on tour. Rack, hey, look, if you know some runs, hit us in the comments. Hit us on the ground. We For might sure. just pull up and slide. For look, sure. man, look, y'all know we supposed to get a uh, me, you, and Speed <laughs> for, on the All-Star Weekend. We supposed hey. Shout out to them boys. Shout out to the 520. 520. Shout out to the 520 boys for yes, sure. Sir. B. Henny. Fi- B. Henny. Well, what up, baby? You know what I'm saying? Teague and all the guys, man. Um, Shout yeah. out Teague. Tim said he got Teague too. Hey, yo, we got the celebrity <laughs> game, bro, <laughs> on the 15th for us on the Thursday. Um, I think it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's at one of the Central High Schools. Yeah, we'll figure What's, all that yeah, out. Yeah, we'll get that. But that tune in, man. We going we to there, bro. We're having a good time. It's going to nah, be the game. it's going to be a good job. It's going to be excited, a good job. Yeah. I'm excited, bro. Shout out to the team. Shout out to the 520 boys. Yes, sir. You're going to see me out there. I might just huh, <laughs> raise up one Ronnie. time. I had to make sure I still had the bounce. So, you know, off the vert, the uh, the one step raise up. I had to make sure I still had. You did. You did get that John clean, though. You did get that John clean, too. I really had a transition, John, but I ain't really. I got to get back in the swing of that, Jordan. No, nah, you just, did, though. Ta-ta-ta. You did hit the yeah, lane. Yeah, hey. yeah, yeah, yeah. Little hey, room grades of patches. Room grades of patches. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, man. You know, good, good little week. joint. Great week. Great week. Great week, uh, for You know sure. what I'm saying? Getting everything right. Yeah, man. Great week in a football, too, bro. Hey, I'm not going to lie. It was some great, great football being played. And before we even get to it, I will say that I was expecting for one of the games actually to be a blowout. What you mean? Like, I wasn't expecting for both of the games to be like, I knew they were going to be competitive, but I didn't think that the score was going to be that close. For both games? Yeah, I didn't think so. I thought one was going to be a lopsided victory, and then the other one was obviously going to be the crazier game. You, you thought one specifically, or you just thought that... Uh... I, I'm not going to hold you. I thought that... Um, I thought that... The Lions? No. You thought the, the Baltimore game? Baltimore and the Chiefs was going to be the lopsided game. Which way? Baltimore. You thought Baltimore was going to get on that with them? I thought it was 38-24 was my score. Mm. I thought 38-24. And then I thought um, the Lions game played out just like how I thought it was mm. by a couple points. Mm. But it was good football all the way around. Crazy crazy games, but good football. I'm in the crib now. Okay. We haven't really shared. I was trying to not jinx it. <laughs> but... uh Look, I'm the first alternate for the Pro Bowl. I mean, this episode might drop, and I might actually be in the Pro Bowl. I, I guess Roquan and Pat haven't decided what they're doing. Okay. God bless them. But uh, I'm I'm Team Ravens. I ain't going to hold you. For a couple reasons. We Ravens. I'm I'm watching Lamar highlights versus us. Versus yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> you supposed to do that? Oh, we. Like, yeah, let, let's go. Uh, obviously, just rooting for Lamar, knowing he's a great player. Uh, sure. Just one in. You feel me? Uh, you know, him to, to make that ascension. And uh, man, it was just a it was like it was a battle, bro. It was a battle, man. To I say just, the least. To go in them games, bro. Just experience, bro. Sometimes yeah. I just think experience is the best teacher, man. Is that what that's what takes it over the top? It's just it, I feel like it's just crazy to me sometimes when I watch sports and I just think about like even like it's like kind of how Michael Jordan said. I made so many game winners because I missed them. I missed so many. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? No, you know that famous quote we didn't seen on the <laughs> every graphic ever. I missed Somebody, a thousand. Some, some girl doing curls or something. You feel me? You didn't just, yeah. they didn't just put that bitch anywhere, right? <laughs> yeah. 
But I, it's so true just because, like, Patty and the Chiefs losing, you know, first of all, they were a playoff team before Patty was a starter, so that's one. You know, Kelsey's been in the playoffs mm-hmm. multiple times. Uh, Patty and, and them losing to to Tom in the AFC Championship game in 18, my rookie year, like, experience. Like, losing uh, in a Super Bowl before, experience. Like, it's just sometimes mm-hmm. I just feel like, I don't know, man. It's just sometimes I feel like some of the greatest, like, runs, they get started by them, that moment of failure right before yeah. you peak. You get what I'm saying? Just because you just be so used to it. Like, you just understand what that moment calls for. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. having shown up and maybe not have had the right energy or might not have had the right mentality, game plan, whatever it was. And then it's like, all right, the next time you get there, y'all going to take advantage. I think that showed up in the San Fran game. You know, having them been there last year, been down okay. big, and okay. just want some like, bro, we ain't going out like that shit again, regardless. Like, yeah. we don't give a fuck. Like, last year, yeah, Purdy got hurt, but we don't care. We not going out like that. If we going to go out, we going out like this. Yeah. And that allowed them to take back. And um, I, that's what I think played, honestly, the biggest role in both of them. And I, sometimes I think people underestimate the experience on the coaching side, too, bro. Like, mm. just Kyle Shanahan and Andy Reid. I mean, obviously, Dan Campbell and John Harbaugh. I mean, John Harbaugh is a Super Bowl champion, so I'm not going to disrespect that. But yeah. I just think uh, just them having been in them situations pretty much over and over again, experience is the best teacher, bro. I just felt like they just felt more comfortable in that situation. But when So when you say that, is he like kind of – because I, I hear – I feel like I hear what you're saying, but like for you, when you when you think about obviously having – being in the playoffs, playing that game, playing in the playoff game, but then being at, I guess, like the AFC or NFC championship – and then you're talking about experience and that taking you over the hump over another good team. What is that exactly? Like what like when you say experience, like what like what is that? What do you mean by that? Uh I would just say like I just understanding those moments and understanding okay. uh like for example, um just fighting through adversity on those type of stages. I just think being in those moments and being on them stages, sometimes it brings out a lot of emotion. Um, mm-hmm. you can, it's easy to go into it with certain expectations, but then you got to understand that at the end of the day, y'all came here to win this game. Okay. Like, you know, biggest, you know, and definitely shouts out to uh, to uh, Baltimore and the Lions. I, first of all, I just want to say yeah. this too. Please don't make it seem like I'm the – Nigga on the couch judging the guys in the arena. I respect the shot. First of all, shout out to the Lions. Shout out to yeah, yeah. I train with all them boys. So I tra- shout out to all the Tampa boys. My man Alex Anzalone, uh, Barnes, uh, Cam Sutton. That's my dog. Cam, Iffy. Yeah. Shout out to Syracuse. Y'all know I'm putting Young on for Iffy. Syracuse. Yes, sir. First of all, y'all be in the comments saying I'm putting on for Philly all the time. I'm never not doing <laughs> it. I just keep telling y'all Philly, Syracuse, Indiana. Y'all keep acting right. It's going for y'all. So look. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Because when I bump for your guy, don't do that. Even though, I'm we'll gonna, get there. I, that's, that's off pod. I actually got to tell you some shit about uh, your man, but we're going to get into that. <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, but, <laughs> no, nah, I mean, like, for example, like, I felt like in that game against uh, the Baltimore Kansas City, right? Yeah. Kansas City came out, and I ain't going to lie, Patrick was, he, he was efficient. So I think he started off 11 for 11, um, just kind of just picking his shots, knowing he don't going against a great defense. But I truly feel like once they went up by 10 points, mm. like, the game wasn't about, okay, let's – now, don't be wrong. They was being aggressive. Like I said, they went for it on fourth, fourth and one in the red zone. They was being aggressive. We'll talk about that. But I do think, like, uh, at a certain point, it was more about, like, we got to get out of here with a win. Mm. More than we want, oh, okay, Rashi Rice, we need to get him eight targets. Or, uh, uh, what's my man, Pacheco, Pacheco we need to make yeah. sure he get – 15 to 20 touches and okay, we got to make sure we targeting Kelsey. Kelsey this yeah. much. Or we got to get like, it was more about what did the situation require Call for? Yeah. I don't really think that a lot of like coach, like I done been in a lot of situations where you be in these big games and sometimes, and this is on all levels, but you done been in big games and you get more enamored with like, like it's Madden. Mm. Like you ever be playing Madden and you like, all right, like say you got the coach, like, Pittman got to go for 1500 this year. So I'm going to just, 
just keep calling this play to him. Or, yeah. damn, our JT need 200 yards this game for, ooh, ooh, so I'm about to just call this one run play so he keep going crazy. Go crazy. Like, you feel me? You trying to make sure certain people get certain stats and shit like that. And and in the, the end of the day, you, you stop – uh, thinking about what's Playing the most the important thing, winning the yeah, game. Yeah. So, like, I feel like just being in that scenario, knowing that you got a, a capable offense like uh, Baltimore and just knowing that you, feel me, they got certain things going on. I just felt like Kansas City just did a good job, like, getting out, not getting out the game with a win because not like they snuck out, but you could tell they when they changed modes on some, like, all right, we got the lead. We got two touchdown lead. Let's get out of here with this win. Like, mm. more than we want to score 30 points a game. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's why I think I just think being in them situations just kind of you just kind of know how to act more like you know how like you know how to adjust you feel me yeah and like I said it's not that John Harbaugh and them haven't been in that situation like I said Harbaugh but that team specifically you know Patrick what they won the Super Bowl last year yeah they just won I think I, and, and then I, I saw the stat uh, in the Lions uh, San Fran game I think the only three who had ever even been in a a, a, a conference title game was uh, golf. golf. Alex Anzalone and uh, uh, C.J. Gardner, Chauncey. Cha- yeah. Dude, Chauncey Gardner. Yeah. yeah, you know that one. So you look at San Fran, it was a whole team. That had been there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm saying they, they yeah. stars, like yeah. stars, backup role players. Like everybody knew what it meant to be in that moment yeah. and fail. Kittle. Yeah. And had to live with that. And I sometimes I just think, even for us, like, I take it back to Indy. Like I, take, I think uh, sometimes your failures – teach you just kind of how to overcome that next moment. Like, you know what I mean? I think that that uh, Houston loss at home, as much as that shit hurt, uh, it's preparing us for the next moments and, and the things we got to come in the future to push further than where we was last year. So Is it um, – and just let me know if that's – if <clears throat> excuse me, if this sounds crazy, but, like, definitely, like you said, in terms of, like, experience, but is there a point where you have to – overcome success too like getting used to winning all the time well and more so in a sense like how how can i say z because like because i i feel you I, it's more so say it friend to me than baltimore it was like bro we've been here before like win like win win the game like actually like do what you need to do to actually win the game like that's, that's what i mean like overcoming success like i i gotta go to the next step of what this is we can't just keep like oh Championship, championship game, championship game. No, you have to go to the Super Bowl. Oh, break through that boy. Yeah, yeah. You like you got to go through. Well, I think Shanahan just kind of said it the most. I mean, said it the best. I mean, like, I feel like you know, going into the playoffs, everybody kept putting up the stat. Oh, the Kyle Shanahan coach teams are like oh and whatever the hell. Mm. You know how they come up with them stats. I keep keep telling you, y'all got y'all got stats for everything. Stay away from my stats. Leave me alone about that. He tapped his leg 10 <laughs> times. <laughs> Tap his leg 10 times, the fastest in the league. <laughs> but, yeah, and I, I mean, now, and, and and look how much that stat matters because the last two <laughs> games, they were down in the fourth quarter and came back and won. And won, yeah. So now, you know, the stat is whatever it is. But, mm-hmm. you know, he just kind of said, and I think Purdy spoke on it too, just, you know, when they were down 17 and a half and they just basically said that they wasn't going to lose and they wasn't going to lose. They, they had all the... Uh, they all a confidence word and nobody blinked. And I ain't gonna lie, watching that game, and I was actually talking to uh, E, my mentor, about this earlier too. Yeah. Gained a lot of respect for uh, McCaffrey. I mean, I already had a ton of respect for McCaffrey for, sure. for who he is as a player, what he's done this season, his career, and all that stuff. But bro, like, I think he was just showing that true dog on Sunday, hmm. bro. Like, they were striking his ass, bro, dumping him on his neck and shit. You see, like, he that was one of them games, bro. Yeah, those those yeah. was championship games, bro. Like, yeah. it was lit to see. You know what I'm saying? Two Titans kind of going to battle. Like I said, I'm just a fan of the game. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, you know, it was impressive. Yeah. So, obviously, I know he was your competitor for the whole season, but if you could give a thought at all about how you feel about where Lamar Jackson is right now, in terms of like just playing like as a player, I mean, two time MVP. I mean, oh, you talking? About, I mean, but it's a lot. I, f- I feel like it's I a mean, lot. He going, he, take, he facing a lot of criticism right now. And yeah. What I've come to realize and understand is like that's a part of the journey. That's a part of the growth. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? As much as like, uh, you know, you'll look at it and say it's unfair, or you know, they judging him too harshly. Why do they judge him this way? Why do they not judge this guy the other way? And mm-hmm. while there may some be some validity in that, uh, they gonna judge you like you said until you break through. Um, I think it was just one of them years we all wanted it for Lamar. We all rooted for. Like I said, I was rooting for him too. Um, just yeah. not only for 
you know, wanting to see him that cheap. That <laughs> shit, I'm trying to get to the Pro Bowl, nigga. God damn. <laughs> I need you. I need you, brother. I am. <laughs> but uh, nah, <laughs> uh, nah. I mean, but like I said, uh, I, I I think it's one of them things. And, and look, it's it's the same thing. I felt like San Fran had to do with last year. Like, okay, last year, you know, having been such a great team, having achieved so much success. And then to go into, uh, you know, the game and lose to Philly like they did last year, they had to sit and deal with that the whole offseason. True. That was the narrative the whole offseason, how they lost. Them going out, yeah. back and forth with the Eagles about what would have happened if Purdy would have played and all this other stuff the whole offseason. And now it's kind of like, you know what I mean? That's just on Baltimore to deal with. That's on the Lions to deal with. That's on, you know, all the teams that, you know, felt like uh, everybody, the thing that everybody keeps saying, and I ain't going to lie, uh, vets in the league, uh, have obviously heard it a bunch. Um, and I heard Dan Campbell speak on it. I don't know how I felt about the head coach saying that, but he was just basically saying, like, there's no guarantee we're going to get here next year. Like, mm. that shit is a fact. Bro, it'd be so... Bro, I think that's what... <laughs> I was talking to E about this early because we're going to get into that shit too because a lot of the narrative right now was saying that Patty is uh, is better than Brady. I didn't seen that a, a, a few times. They... They starting to create that narrative and shit, and I'm like, look, I'm staying out of it because I feel like y'all keep saying shit like that. We gonna piss Brady off, and he gonna come back and play. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I truly Tom, believe Tom he got coming that, back. Bro. I believe he got that shit in his back pocket. The only reason why I don't think he would, honestly, is because this shit is a true like you gotta. It's at least I'm June mobile. to February. Like this ain't no disrespect. This shit ain't basketball, dog. Like, like if Bron was to sit out the whole season, he could come back. And at the after All Star break, use the whole lead up to the playoffs of getting in shape, getting warmed up, and then maybe coast, maybe go through some struggles that first round. But by the conference finals, be ready to go. He could do that. He could. He's good enough. He understand the game. He could do that. That's the difference between basketball and football. And football, bro, that shit is a Hold grind. On, bro. And the main reason why I feel like he wouldn't do that is because it's eighteen weeks. And just back to our original point, bro, that shit is mad unpredictable, bro. It's so much. Grind and shit your body got to go through. There's so many highs and lows and different shit that can happen in the season from injuries to, to, to momentum to all this other shit. It's just no guarantee you're going to be able to get back there. That shit is just really difficult, bro. All right. All right. I hate you. I hate you, man. Tom coming back, it might be a thing, you know, or whatever. Yo, it's not that easy in the NBA, bro. It's not that easy to what? Yo, Braun, if I'm not mistaken, in their in last year, didn't they get one forward? And what, the conference finals? No. It was the conference finals. It was the conference finals. Versus Golden State? No, they beat Golden State. He said Golden in State. In the first won. round. No, they beat the play in. Golden State. That's what it was. That's what it was. Yes, they won the play in and lost the very first round of the no, playoffs. They didn't. They beat, they beat the Warriors. Bro, no, I'm saying they won the play in game. Yeah, look, let's, let's, look, let's look. do that. Let's do let's do our research Here on that. Because you, you shitting on bronze crazy. Because it's not that easy. They in went the to the league, conference bro. finals, bro. That's not. They beat the Warriors in the conference semi seven to six. I mean, uh, four to two. Four to two. And lost, and they got swept in the conference finals. He went to the conference finals, though. Bro, but that's not. But hold on, wait, wait, wait. And then also too, he went to the conference final. Hold on, bro. Let's also and lost too, to the champion. Let's also remember this though, too, though. Like, and this is has always been kind of my thing with the NFL or just with football and basketball in general. Y'all can get lucky on one day. What What are you talking about? In basketball, you have to beat you have to beat a team four times in order to advance. Okay, what does that have to do with what we talking about? Bitch, I only have to beat them one time. You disrespect LeBron like that, like oh he can just come back and whenever I Brady think- Brady can come back. Go, go, hear me out, Brady can come back and win you a couple games. I agree that. And if he so happened, like you say, if he so happened to come back mid season and then ring all four, he only had to do it one time. What I'm trying to explain to you is you can't do that in football, bro. You can't, right. you can't do that in football because just the wear and tear and the toll that that takes on your body, if your body is not forged and in shape for that grind, you're going to suffer, bro. Trust me, bro. You can't do it. Like, I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Even Brady being the best player ever. Yeah, but at his age and just, 
like like I said, at the physical nature of the game, we watched the game. My homes got punched in his shit. My uh, did get punched <laughs> his face twice. My mama do go nah, up. My man, my no, man bullshit, stole, bro. bro. Yeah. yeah no, nah, he did. He though. earned that, John. Yeah. I know. It was cool, little 15. No, nah, for cool sure. Cool 15. Some, hey, look, sometimes you got to give him the 15 and just walk it off. Just go ahead yeah, with man, it. Yeah, man. That was crazy. a good John, though. <laughs> Hey, you actually out of pocket. He gonna call you for the fine. Nah, <laughs> you ain't, yo. I ain't got it. All them boys listen to me. <laughs> hey, yo, I Z. ain't got it. I ain't got it. That's wild. Yeah, nah, but look, man, it was a good game, I bro. Like, I uh, like I said, definitely shout out to shout out to the Chiefs. Shout out to San Fran. Mm-hmm. Hell of a game. Mm-hmm. Looking is this, forward to it. Is this a match? Is this a matchup? Is this what we wanted to see? Uh, no. Okay. Or the Chiefs, like, I hate to even say that, like, it's weird for me to think about it and even talk about it and shit because, like, I'm in the league. But people, I, I keep saying people saying, like, the Chiefs are, like, the new villains of the league, like, the new guys Super that villains. nobody want to like and shit yeah. like that that be winning. Whether that's true or not, I don't know if I'm co-signing that. But, I mean... Niggas is winning. I mean, somebody got not these motherfuckers off, bro. Somebody I mean, got, are they super- I always feel like when I'm watching people play, like, I, I just feel like... because. I've just come to realize that the NFL and just sports in general is just so storyline based. True. So I just be understanding what each storyline, how each storyline is going to progress with a win or a loss. Okay. Like if, for example, if Baltimore won, Lamar, uh, two-time MVP, Super Bowl, you know, he took his team to the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. Yeah. Uh, I'm telling you, I was telling uh, Dylan this off camera. Bro, if they win the Super Bowl, that Baltimore Ravens defense would have been looked at as one of the probably top five all time if they won that Super Bowl. Mm. With the amount of all pros, the the uh, the uh talent they got on that team, the statistically, yeah. what they did this year, yeah. if they would have added a ring to that, they would have been put in that conversation with 2013 Seahawks, the still. 85 Bears, still like, they would have been yeah. in that conversation with a ring. Mm. But without that ring, it, it, it like, it hurt. You like, you kinda, feel me? Like, yeah, you just, you can't, a, yeah. yeah, they can't, Stamp certain shit without the ring. Them other teams got the ring. That's the only difference. Like, Ray, you know what I'm saying? Ray and Yeah, yeah, Ray and you see them out there. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see T-Sugs out yeah. there. I love them teams, bro. Oh, man, crazy. I love them teams. Bro. Football was football back then. Oh, bro. man, yeah, wasn't it? Was, yeah, football was football oh, back then. Oh, man, wrong. that was just my man Jamal Lewis. Yeah, yeah. You just, yeah, That was yeah. great. That was great ball back then, great bro. Great football, bro. It was great football. Man, they was had that a young Flacco? They, yeah, they had a young Flacco back when the... Uh, <laughs> I was trying to explain to Candace uh, the last time Baltimore and San Fran played in the playoffs. Remember the lights went out for like 30 minutes? Yes. That was cheating like shit. <laughs> they cheated. They cheated that shit. They cheated that the game, was, bro. That shit was cheating, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That shit was cheating. They had momentum, bro. Bro, San Fran was beating <laughs> yeah, their ass. Bro, I ain't gonna yeah, get bro. They gotta regroup. Bro, Ray get mad at me all he wants. Bro, they was, they was on their ass. The lights <laughs> went out for like 45 minutes. I was hurt at they home. They had to re-warm up all that shit. I was hurt at home. That's food, crazy. Look, food like gone. Shit. No yeah. chips. <laughs> like, damn, bro, we done ran out of everything, That was it? a hell of a team, though, that they had back in the G. <laughs> nah, for sure. That was a great, great team. Great yeah, team. man, but... Great team. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but... And, and like, even, like, imagine what that win do for the Lions. Like, mm. man, it was just like, man, like, that team... They, I mean, are, they are already a legendary team in Detroit history. Like, to yeah. take that Lions team, you know, that program, where, it's, where it was from to where it is now... Happy for them boys. Proud of them boys, man. My yeah. boy Alec was out there striking McCaffrey ass too. Okay. Stop trying my dog. Stop trying my dog. He stood tall in there. Shout out to Alec. That's my man. He nah. wasn't playing with McCaffrey. First place stood him up. I'm, ooh, <laughs> okay. Nah, that was, it was a lot. I'm going to say this, man. That was a, that game was specifically I was looking at because, you know, it was a, a lot going back and forth between uh, Buddy and uh, Debo. Oh, Debo. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah I'm, not, I'm just not a fan. First of all, I will say is, the okay. one thing I will say is, I love that real beef is coming back to the league. But it started to make me realize that I got to start beefing for something. I can't just be beefing with niggas because it's for Wednesday. No I got I to gotta put I gotta put childish things aside. I'm a, I'm a man now. You know what I mean? Yo. I need to grow up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, I, bro, I love that shit. First of all, crazy? to everybody that was don't understand what's going on, let me just break this down real quick so we, it should be broken down so it forever mm-hmm. and for always will be broken. Uh-huh. You hear me? Uh-huh. They don't know nothing about that. Come on now. We got to teach Dylan something. Dylan don't know nothing about that. Bram, yeah, that's true. I can't blame that's Bram. That's in his city, Bram too. Even, that's in his, that's in his city, football. too. I can't get mad when Bram don't know references. I ain't that's mad okay. at that. Shout out to the production okay. team. Shout out to Ian. Shout out to everybody. Uh, before the game, you have, there's 100 yards. <laughs> Hell, shit. Right? You have your 50, I have my 50. If you come on this other side of the 50, 
I'm understand you ever you ever be in class and like it's somebody in class you you trying to fight yeah and like you like look I'm walking right here I'm walking it's my you line just, you just waiting for him to bump you. it's you my just line like, bro. yeah no nah, this this my field so I'm, <laughs> I'm walking wherever I'm walking I might just and guess what you better get out the way and guess what none of the balls that you catching or throwing or kicking none of that shit better not touch me ever. Yeah, a fact yeah bro a fact. get that shit out the way so I ain't gonna hold it was an energy. Before the game, when I seen that shit, I said, oh, shit. Nah, it's Chelsea on. and Patty got yeah, on. Yeah, you supposed to, bro. First of all, you supposed to move dog shit out the way. I ain't going to hold you. First sure. of all, I got to be honest, bro. You don't even kick uh, extra points from the two-yard line anymore. So while you're holding or kicking from the one-yard line, it's actually mad childish, nigga. You like the best <laughs> kicker of all time. Like, come on, bro. Like, It's yeah. not that, bro. I don't know if you need to warm up from the one. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. That might be hubris. That's maybe his that's, routine. Maybe that's why you great I ain't. I don't know. But, come yeah, no, nah, that's petty. On our sideline, first of all, kickers and punters are out there either early or late, too, bro. For sure. So if you're going to go on the other team side, go out there early, bro. But I like that energy, though. Kelsey, I ain't going to lie. I gained a lot of respect for Kelsey, too. Kelsey wasn't playing that shit out there, bro. Yo. He ain't going for none of that nah. T-Swift talk. He ain't going for none of that us uh, shit. He out there bumping heads out there, bro. He was I'm carrying not, it. I'm not he rolling. He carried it. He carried it, bro. He carried I'm it, I'm not bro. rolling, bro. Bro, you supposed to, bro, he, you ain't seen him grab uh, Justin Tucker's shit and throw yeah. it out the way? No, I'm saying, though, like, he grabbed this shit and moved it like it was like trash. Like, yo, let me, let me go ahead and get this shit. It was. Shit. Get that shit out Slow the down, way. Slow down, bro. And get you grab my out. helmet. Yeah, get nah. it out the way. Slow down, gang. What you thought Justin Tucker was supposed to do? One of these super kicks. Nigga, he kicked 60 yard field goals. You can get one of these bitches to the thigh. Bah! You think he's supposed to leg kick him like a uh, ha! MMA? Ha! Ha! Stop touching my shit. Not happening. <laughs> you don't think he's going there? Not happening. No. It could be an accident. No, they said. I was working on my. I was working on. <laughs> My, working my technique. They say he's supposed to go get uh, Roquan and, uh, real quick. Roquan and, uh, and, and, and Lamar, T Suggs and Lamar and them like yeah. like uh, like the grandmama from uh, Friday at the Next. There <laughs> <laughs> it is, right there. <laughs> she said, "Mister, fuck you and your whistle." <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy. No, Yo. you gotta get out of the way, bro. No, you know what side of the fifty? Come on, bro. Get out of here. Don't do but that, respectfully, bro. though, like why you? You pulled that on the kicker, though. The fact that you the kicker just let me know you trying me because understand something. I be in there mixing it up with the D lineman, so why you think I won't mix it up with you right here? Like, don't do that, bro. <laughs> don't do that, bro. He a kicker, bro. And you see what's going on right here, bro. Don't Just don't do that. Don't nah, do that. I ain't gonna hold you. They said that... Uh... That they told him that Patty was about to come out and throw type shit, and he just said... But I feel Justin, where he coming from. I ain't gonna... I done got into a couple little almost squirmishes. But my thing is, so my thing is, when I go out but see, I, like I go out before everybody. I don't really like to be in the mix of all that. You feel mm -hmm. me? Like when I mm -hmm. when everybody else go out there, I'm already done. But I know receivers and quarterbacks got a whole different rhythm, whole different situation, and kickers too. They got their own little thing before a game, so I understand that. But, right. Uh, it's been a couple times I've been out, and I'm on, like I said, I'm on my side of the fifty. You got your fifty, and like the backup quarterback, like the practice squad quarterback, come out and he putting him through like you know a little script. Or something, you know okay. what I mean? I be over there, bro. Don't let a fucking ball touch me, nigga. Like I be, I, but I'm, I'm, I, bro. Yeah. You be wild, yeah, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that bitch, punt the football all the way to section two thirty one. Like now I'm mad and shit. Like yeah, don't. I'm gonna make a scene out here. Like don't leave me alone before the game, bro. I ain't even. I be trying, but I you be wilding, on, bro. I be, I be on uh shit before the game. That's why I be like, I'm in it, John. I'm, I'm probably. Like at that point, I'm off the gospel. I'm on. I'm on the. I'm on the meat. I'm, yeah. I'm on the dirt. Nail. Sing on killing yeah, on, on me. The, on killing yeah, on body. Gonna play with yeah, you. I'm, I'm with on, you. I'm on. With you. Come on, man. Where my man speed at, bro? Hey, like, you know what I mean? That's I'm, I'm, crazy. I'm out there on the stealing, dealing, drug dealing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, understand, nah, bro? That's, that's really what I be on. That's actually dealing, sick. Killing, killing drug dealing. dealing. You know what I mean? That's, <laughs> that's, that's, crazy, that's all I'm listening to at that point. So. Just leave me alone. I keep telling you, I'm not in a good mood before games, bro. So Understood. Shit like that just can't happen with me. But Understood. should definitely respect the Kelsey in them, though. Yeah. That was funny. I like that. It was a tone setter, in my opinion. Understood. So, I mean, and I think in, in obviously, in dramatic fashion, I think that you mentioned it before, was that um, San Francisco had the boot and rally. They had to come back. They had to, you know, try to get their situation together. How is that with playing with that large of a lead for... <laughs> There you go. For the Lions. Trying to get me started. It's just, well, the Lions, man, just tough. You playing against a great team. Great team. Great team, great coaches. Yeah. Great weapons. 
Yeah, just they just took advantage, man. I just I don't know. Just watching the game is just tough, tough to do. I I, I say it all the time. I mean, I feel like holding a, a a big lead early in the game is is tough. But I felt like other than like how I feel like most teams typically respond, like. A lot of teams respond, they just go in two minutes. They just go and dink and dunk you all the way down to the game, all the way down to the red zone. Mm-hmm. And now it's like you pretty much playing red zone defense the whole second half, which is terrible. Okay. And then it's like on your offensive side, you know, sometimes oh, I'm sorry, sometimes your coaches or something may not be as aggressive and, you know, okay. they kind of, you feel me? I don't think the Lions did that. I think the Lions had a good plan. It's just San Fran came out on some, like, we about to play our game. Like yeah. McCaffrey came out, popped out, boom, hurty. Boom. I mean, that that bomb to Ayuk was crazy. Huh. For sure. I'm starting to realize, too, like, receiver just mean catch the ball. I mean, I know we all love when Justin Jefferson just one hand that bitch or T. Higgins just grab that bitch out the air or some shit like that. But sometimes, like, being a great receiver is catching the tip pass oh, catching off the, the ball. DB. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, just yeah. grabbing that motherfucker. That's a, that's a fact. That was a tough-ass catch, bro. Tough-ass play. I thought he scored that shit, too. I thought they burned him for the tub, but... Uh, young and number four, though, is crazy for the Lions, though. Am I tripping? Four or eight. You talking about the running back? I think. No, he was the wide receiver. Oh, you talking about J-Mo? Yeah, bro. The, took the reverse? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I saw what they did to Fred, too, bro. That shit was kind of fucked up. They, first, But that's why I always be paying attention to all them little gadget dudes. Like, mm. J-Mo, gadget guy. You got to know he fast. Yeah. He got all that. When they motherfuckers like that close to the core, you got to just... Something about that shit don't seem right. But I saw what they did, though. They pulled the guard opposite of the reverse. And Fred just kind of saw, like, oh, that shit don't make no sense. And just stood a little bit. That's all it take. That shit hard, though. I, I saw that shit. I'm like, I just, I just did the same shit, gang. You just, nah. Sometimes, like, that, but that's great play calling, though. Like, when they, so they'll give you a false read just to fuck up a player just knowing what you looking at. Yeah. They pulled a guard away from where the reverse was going. And he like, whoa, well, why the fuck they pulling? Ain't nobody. Huh? And then, boom. Next thing you know, J-Mo hit that joint, got out the gas. So, yeah, yeah but nah, look, shout out to the team. Shout out to the winner. Shout out to the losers. I'm a loser. Join us on the couch. Fuck it. I don't care. I'm going to be at the Super Bowl either way. Well, the payment in the year. Hey. What you want me to do? And I'm, and I'm lit to see Ursher. <laughs> he's an Ursher. I'm lit off the Ursher. I'm lit hey. off the Ursher. Hey. Baby tonight. The teens ain't got to fall in love. He gonna play that, but I ain't even I ain't even looking forward to it. I ain't gonna that. lie to you. You gonna be, I, well, I don't know about you, but I would be a couple shots in, and by the time he get to that bitch, I'm Terry, young, young Terry Crews. <laughs> <laughs> Moving. That's going crazy. He gonna have a bunch, though. Yeah, but, it's gonna nah, be it was good. A good, good night. It was a good job, man. We are but, here. Super Bowl week is upon us. Well, it's Pro Bowl week now, but Pro Bowl week. Super okay, Bowl yeah, is yeah. on the way, though. Super yeah, that's Bowl right here, bro. Way, man. It's ready. So we about to, everybody hating, we about to see Taylor Swift and, and game management. That's all we about to hear. Taylor Swift and game <laughs> hey, management. Man. Two days, bro. Taylor Swift and game management. Hey, they got they got to kill all that game manager talk to about Purdy. They have to at this point, bro. You got to, bro. He came. That's the biggest comeback in NFC Championship history. He came back down <laughs> seventeen points, or was it twenty one or seventeen? I think it was seventeen. It was bro, 17. yeah, I feel you. I mean, I understand the point, but shit. Like, but I'm saying, though, you got. <sighs> Nah, I ain't gonna say he ain't game manager. He ain't game manager, but I mean, you just got so you have so many weapons, bro, out there on at tight people end, just not at wide receiver. People just not comfortable with the quarterback not being the best player on a on a on a. That offense. that might be that's it. what it comes. That might they be just, it. They love giving the quarterback so much it. credit yeah. that it just hurts them to know that like San Fran is comfortable. Understanding not, that, yeah, yeah, McCaffrey, Debo, Trent Williams, yeah, the offensive yeah, line, other monsters yeah. over here, but Purdy definitely putting on, bro. That's a fact. Like, I keep saying, like, it's power to somebody being able to run the show. Like, that's a skill. I always yeah. also say too, a lot of people, like, okay, you can have talent around you. A lot of people don't know how to make talent look like talent, though. That's also true. That's a skill. Yeah. Like, it's a lot of people. You be out here. Oh my God! If they had a better quarterback, they'd be nice. Or they they had somebody like. What the fuck? They look. Everybody look good, and he cooking, so that don't make him good. That's a fact. I think Purdy. I think Purdy just get the flack though, because he remind you of like a uh, a uh, uh, subpar quarterback at this like a great ass high school. Mm. 
Like that's I, I really feel like that's what that's it is. That's fake. <laughs> no, I'm saying though, I, that's like that's real, that's real shit. That's real that's shit. Real that shit. He a sub poor quarterback. No, <laughs> I'm saying like to your point where you were saying like everybody's just like or it's comfortable. It's not comfortable. Oh, because they don't look a certain. Yeah, way. yeah. That's, I just feel like that's what it is. That's how it looks. It is what it is. He got that star inspired. He doing everything he's supposed to do with it, and he about to get the big stupid bag, big stupid ugly nasty bag. <laughs> about to, oh, and I hope he celebrated the right way. I want all Persian uh, Persian rugs. I about, you crazy. Abu Dhabi. I want my man out there. Helicopter. <laughs> Get my man all that shit. Fuck it. He went crazy. Yeah, he did. Seven round dudes. Se- oh. Putting on for the, for the, for the game. Okay. Yeah, look at me. I just claim everybody. Look at me. <laughs> I'm not thorough. Uh, what else we got going on? That's football. Was that enough? I hope it was. I really, I don't, I ain't talking, I ain't playing. Like, I don't want to be that guy, but I get it. I get it. I understand the game more than everybody else. So it is. It is. That's, uh, and they want to hear you talk about the yeah, game. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, so shout out to the game. I was, I ain't going to lie. The only the last thing I'm going to say is I am a little disappointed too. Mm-hmm. I really wanted to see uh, Fred Warner, Dre Greenlaw, Broquan, Pat Queen, uh, Super Bowl. I really wanted to see that. I wanted, mm-hmm. I would have loved to see the whole Super Bowl, uh, like, build up and all that shit be yeah. about. Line Some linebacker back play. Yeah, yeah, I would have loved that. Yeah, yeah. I would have loved it. I really would. I mean, shout out to the gang, too. Them boys was looking good. Shout out to the Lions. They, they linebackers look good, too. That's uh, a fact. The game, too. So, uh, yeah. Look, that's all I got football-wise. Okay. Embiid. Joel. Man, Joel. What? that's why I came to pot about. Embiid. That's what you want to do? Hey, bro, look. Joel Embiid, congratulations, bro. Uh, you're in a, a class, in a class, not of your own, but you're in a class. Um... But I mean, shit, you might say of your own, because I don't know any other seven footers giving you 70. That, is it less special because Luca did 73? We're going to get to that. Let's just talk about MB first. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Joel first. Oh I want to give him God, his praise. Bro, that's I crazy. I want to give Joel his praise. That's crazy. We actually had a question in the chat that you didn't answer. We had a question in the chat? Yeah, and, and I'm talking about it with the bros. Oh, what was my what, that what was you the dropped? Question? You said at their best, rank these oh. players based only on their offensive games. That was the reason why Melo, Luca, James Harden, mm-hmm. AI, mm-hmm. D Wade, mm-hmm. and Paul Pierce. It mm-hmm. was at their best, rank these players only on their offensive games. Only I didn't duck the smoke. I went straight Harden, AI, mm-hmm. Melo, Luca. I could switch those two out. D Wade and Truth. Now, I went hard in first because, respectfully, if everybody on this list, nobody was giving you 50-point triple-doubles at the clip that he was doing. And when he was really on, they changed the game because of him. Right, wrong, indifferent, he changed the game of basketball. They added When they add rules, look, at the same way we looking sideways and don't like how Harden was a free throw merchant, somebody probably said that about Will Chamberlain and said, bro, he's not even nice, he really just be goaltending. Oh, it's really just basket interference. Yes, we have those rules because Will Chamberlain was dominating that much. So him built like that, that is a change in the game. I don't know what, like, if, bro, that is impact on the game, bro. I look, that's how I see those type of things. Okay. Fair, that's fair. So, fair, fair. Harden putting up 50 point triple doubles is very different. Going 30 for 60 games or whatever that, like, yeah, he tough. Multiple scoring champ, tough. AI, AI bag just too crazy. AI bag too crazy. Sure. His bag honestly crazier than everybody on the whole list. Uh he he pretty much got everything. You know what I mean? And to do it at what six feet, you feel me? At five eleven, yeah, yeah, baby yeah, yeah. He going crazy. For sure. Uh like I said, Melo and Luca a little different. Now, when I originally had Melo over Luca, but Luca did score 73. But my only point about it is at their peak, Melo and that uh What's that called? Triple threat? Uh-huh. That shit was lethal, gang. Uh-huh. Elite three level. Three. Three level. Elite three level. One thing I need you to understand about the list, I'm going to let you go on, is that everyone on this list was in Melo's era. And so what I'm saying to you is, is that understand that Luka and Harden, and the years that you're talking about Harden playing, the three ball was the game. During Melo, Harden, D. Wade, and Paul Pierce's era, yeah, it was a two. Being it was, it was, a three-level scorer was the thing. It was more so finished up finishing at the basket. I would say that, especially AI. No, 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 Melo mid-range. Paul Pierce and Melo mid-range. Yeah, but I would say AI was a little bit more. Oh, he finished. was a finisher for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. But I'm saying, oh yeah, it was mid-range finishing. And then if you had what the three, game was that when you had the uh, uh finisher? It was a 
basketball with the uh was that NBA Live? Ooh. That was NBA Street. I mean, uh, NBA. Uh, that was NBA Live, bro. That was live when they what? used to have an icon. Oh, underneath. that was NBA Live. Vince, Car- shout out to Vince Carter, bro. NBA Live was shout out to Vince Carter. That was but crazy. Yeah, then but, I went. Uh, okay, D-Wade, D-Wade, D-Wade and the truth. D-Wade, okay. D Wade was a great player. I don't. I wouldn't necessarily consider him a great scorer. So, uh, and then the truth. I just felt like. D Wade would probably outscore him. So the only reason that I was really mad at your list, because I think your, your list was like probably like the closest to mine. I don't see a world where and and this might be biased because I watched him one go through all the shit that Luca was going through right now and battle Kobe in the finals and bat and, and really, really go to toe to toe with him. Bro, Paul Pierce is over Luca Doncic, bro. Like for real, Paul Pierce could never score seventy three in a game. He could, he, he could never do it ever. Bro. At no point in his career could he ever score seventy three in a game. That's crazy. I don't even want to hear what you're saying. That's crazy. He could never That's score crazy. the clip Luca could score. That's crazy. He, he never could, bro. He couldn't, bro. He couldn't. Bro, now, his argument is gonna say, "Oh, like he said, I miss people playing defense." And I know just by all of his tweets, how he carrying him and KG, he probably feel like he better than Luca. Like right now, he like he probably watch oh, Luca right and now. be like, That's he true. probably be looking at Luca like, I will cook him in my prime, but. I don't know, bro. Luca got a different bag. I just like I said, yeah, that was the only that was the only one that I would change on my list. Like So you put Luca last? I'm putting uh Luca second to last. D Wade is last in my list. Yeah, D Wade, I feel like it should yeah, be on D Wade D Wade was my last on my list. Yeah, but and I'm probably interchanging uh Harden and Melo, for sure. You got Melo number one? Melo's a better scorer than James Harden ever will be. Ever. And he's still playing. James Harden is not a better scorer than Carmelo Anthony. And you can book I you can book that shit. You can come out and sit down and talk with me during All Star Weekend. And, he, and I will run down all his shit for you, bro. You will never be a better score than Carmelo Anthony. Never. Damn. Are you killing me? Are you serious? Bro, I'm bro, I, I'm looking dead. I don't know, Dylan, tell him I'm looking dead at this shit. Like for for the world. How can you say that though? Bro, he does not score the basketball at every level at the what efficiency. Level, what level, what level did he did he score at though? He can. James Harden never had a mid post game. A mid post game. James Harden have never had a post game. Melo He's never, never had, shot the three ball like Harden did. You stupid. You, he never shot the three ball. Are you ball serious? That Harden did. No. He are you didn't. serious, bro? Did Melo you watch? Was never a three point shooter for for bro. Bro, he was catching shoot, but he what? wasn't. He wasn't three point off the dribble. He wasn't doing like that, bro. Bro, Harden making niggas fall like bro. that. He wasn't doing that. Bro. All right, so you know this, this so this is what I'm gonna tell you. Syracuse and then we talking about me go against and my, then, uh, my loyalty exactly. And then we talking about if we really want to get in the bag of scoring, bro. We really want to have this conversation. Understand that Carmelo Anthony, starting and fucking college, all the way going to USA, was in the in the in the arena with the best niggas, and he was the leading scorer. He's the USA top scorer. He has the record. He played the longest. He had the most points. Okay, I'll give you that. And then when you get to, like I said, when you get to the NBA, when you get to the NBA, we talking mid post, we talking short corner, we're talking top of the key threes. You can't, so you can't, you can't talk about just Melo's hot spots and just ignore all the different places where Harden was good at scoring. Though. Behind the three point line, it's all three points. He's not. And you don't elite, do he's anything. Not, he's not an elite finisher as well. No, James Harden an elite finisher. In his prime, comment, yes, he bro. Was, bro. James Harden not no elite finisher, bro. In his prime, he wasn't. No. No, James, bro, James Harden is a, st- a step-back king. Get to the, wait, wait, get into the free throw line, bro, and being an elite he finisher. Wasn't a, he wasn't a knockdown shooter? A knock, bro, for Houston? James, bro, James Harden is, lives off the dribble. He's not a knockdown shooter. He lives off the dribble. He lives off the screen and roll. Melo does all of that. How many times uh, Melo led the league in scoring? I'm just asking a question. You talking about all this? How many times did Melo lead the league in scoring? How many times did he ever lead the league in scoring? I don't think he ever. Lead. Okay, no, okay, that's that's all I want to know. I think Harden did it three times, bro. In okay. the era of bro, yeah, 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 I know, I know, but that's why bro. I hate about basketball niggas. Why every time we talk that about matters. somebody being great, y'all talk about errors? Because that matters. That's like, that's like me saying, oh, uh, uh, I gotta stop. I don't even want to say his name. I feel like we talk about him too much. But let's let's just right. saying like. Uh, Christian McCaffrey. Oh, but Christian McCaffrey wouldn't have did this if uh Ray Lewis and Terrell Suggs was out there, or he wouldn't have did that versus uh like yes, he probably would have fucking did. And guess what? Even if he ain't, guess what? He doing it now. So why does it matter? You act like it's not great players out there right now. So why does it not matter? It does. It matter. And Harden did it like before. To be honest, it really became this true, true. Like now, I would say probably. 
the last two years, I would say, is when it truly became this, all right, low management. We not playing defense at all until the playoffs. Okay. Before that, people were still like, when Harden was cooking in his prom, the Christmas game was still very, very serious. Very, very, very serious. Situation. For sure. Very, very serious situation. People were still playing good basketball in the beginning of the year. Like, that was still happening. And Harden was dominating the league. He led the league in scoring three times. But we're not going to sit here and act like he didn't, bro. And like I said, he revolutionized the game, bro. I, like, I know a lot of people are not going to like it and not agree with it, but bro. And also, too, let's also keep in mind, shoot 90% from the free, free throw line is a skill. Just like we talked about with Brock Purdy, whether you like it or not, everybody don't do that. So what are we discussing? What is it, 50, 90, uh, 40? If you're getting there at 20. He did that, right? If you're getting there at 20. Then, he did that, right? Yeah, he did that. So did Melo do that? What you mean? Did Melo do the 50, 90, 40? No. Okay. So, again, so... That means he's had more efficient years than Melo, too. And I hate to say this because, I look, I love Melo and Syracuse legend. But at the same time, Harden, Harden and that. Has he had 60 Harden, in the garden? Huh? He had 60 in the garden? I don't know. His game, his game high is probably higher than Melo's, too, though, bro. Hmm. Right, look, this is all I'm going to say to you. I hear you, but I honestly believe that understanding, and I agree with you, that James Harden did usher in that era of – Pat, 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 pat. Because respectfully, how basketball used to go from the three-point line, anybody that was patting by you going crazy was definitely going to get a layup. He, pat, 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 I'm stepping back and I'm shooting a three. I get that and I understand that. He also he also led the league in assists a couple of times too, bro. Bro, the, my, but we said the measuring stick was scoring. We ain't talking we, about it. I know we're talking about Oh, you're right. Let me stop. You said, yeah, yeah, I already said I'm measuring sorry, scoring. I'm moving, I'm moving the goalposts. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Don't do I'm going to fall back. It's cool. Y'all do that all the time. Uh, um... But like I said, yeah, Melo, I, I think Melo is probably on that list the most efficient scorer that I've ever seen and probably is the most efficient scorer I've ever seen in my life. I mean, but I'm biased. We all have our opinions. Yeah, I'm we biased. Have our I'm looking forward to the NBA All-Star, though, man. I, I, but the only thing is about that, and I don't want to get off that. Do you, how you feel about that load management? Everybody everybody was tweeting me about that. First of all, shout out to my man, uh, uh, Ascent, out in Denver. He definitely be plugging us in with the, uh, with the shades. Oh, okay. Shout okay. out to my dog. Don't be tweeting me some wild off the next shit like that, though, gang. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't tweet me. He, he, yo, I want to talk about your man Embiid, and you talk about him and Jokic, but then he ain't playing Denver. Embiid don't got to play in Denver to be better than Jokic. <laughs> At yeah. what point do it? First of all, I'm gonna be honest. I played in Denver before. That shit over it. That shit. I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been in elevation. I can't breathe. Basketball not played there all the time, bro. Why can't <laughs> we? Why can't we play at sea level? Why I gotta play fifteen hundred feet, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifteen hundred <laughs> feet up in the air and beat you in basketball. Like why I gotta do that in the mountains? Why I gotta do that? <laughs> NBA duck the smoke. People, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it all the way. You think he, he, you think he yeah, the smoke? But I would have done it too. Yeah. For what? I'm gonna do me like that. Nah. I don't think Maxi that's... Maxie didn't play. Tobias didn't play. Yeah. There's no what? need. No. There's no... And I'm in Denver. I can't breathe. I'm not playing. Injury report. Knee sore. Yeah. ain't playing. I mean, but to be honest with you, though, like, and this, this, I think this goes to... I ain't gonna say low management, but I think this just goes into the long... Uh, into the, to the elongated season and understanding what the NBA is right now. Hey, bro. Jokers, you got all the MVPs. They love you, bro. Whatever. I'll see you in the finals, bro. I have to see you in the finals. I don't want it because the narrative, because I'll 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 say I'll say this for MB and kudos to him. Cause if they do meet up again, obviously it's more games in the season or whatever like that, cool. But bro, you not about to keep making a headway on me in terms of like media, you going into the playoffs or whatever that is, and you beating me and never have to see me again. I fuck with Embiid for that because that's what we, that's what be happening. Denver played them twice, played them once there, played them once in Philly, and then the they whole one and year, they go one and one. Yes, the whole year after they look and then look and beat and look because Embiid like score forty. Always get the second one. Yes, he always get Embiid the last will be one. going yeah. crazy yeah. after they play. Yeah. He scored yeah. 30, 40, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Then then Jokers and them just win. Yeah. Now it's oh Nikola beat Embiid yeah. doing it. Yeah. No, you're yeah. no longer yeah. getting that off for me, bro. Yeah. You're gonna have to play me. If you had to play me, I'm going to play you once or I ain't going to play you. You're going to have to see me in the finals. And I respect BNB for that. But my thing is, I I understand what that low management John doing, bro. First of all, do B really not play that many games? Like, he really sit out that many games, bro? Bro, it's a long season, bro. They said, I, I, I How many I games you got to play? You, gotta, you only can miss 10 games? 
No, you can miss more than 10 games. It's like 15? Somewhere around there. To be eligible for the awards? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, well, it's a percentage. Buy, but, but it's see, a percentage. It's a percentage. I, lie, I think it's 35% like, of the games like need to NBA be played. NBA guys got too much power over the league. Like, y'all going to make them just suit up, check in, tip off, and then go sit down and put sweats on. That's what y'all going to make them do. Yeah, for sure. There's already 15 dudes on the bench dressing. Only eight of them play anyway. Damn. What's going to stop him from just doing a tip off? Oh, I played. And then go sit down. What's going to stop that? <laughs> That's crazy. But you wouldn't want Joel. Don't do that, Joel. No, I wouldn't want him to do that. But yeah. to, to to take away an MVP season because my man do got knee issues, though, bro. Yeah, no, for sure. But I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I just think that the low, the low management conversation, bro, has been, like, chefed around the league so much. And I get it. Like, it, it's a conversation because – People talking about it being about low management, low management, low management, but it's truly about the NBA stir, um, uh, silver, and all those guys addressing fans not getting what they pay for. That's what the conversation's about. I can understand that. We pay, it, we pay for it. Yeah, yeah and, and like I know it wasn't low management, but it was like, damn, I would have loved to see Halliburton versus NBA. Yeah, that, but that's but that's where that's where the conversation. And is. just to find out, like Halliburton was actually hurt, so it was like, yeah. oh, right, damn, I forgot Halliburton had the hamstring. Woo woo. Yeah. But to pull up and then know that oh, Halliburton just not playing tonight just because yeah. he ain't playing. That's yeah. like, oh, come on, gang. But that's why I think I, that I, that's Halliburton where me a couple bands. <laughs> that's where I got chilling, Holly. Shout out yeah, to Holly for sure. That's where the conversation is coming from. It's like, oh, y'all not playing because of boom, 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 X, Y, Z, and it's like, bro. They play a lot of basketball, bro. Like, they play a lot of basketball. Like, y'all, like, just the NFL, bro, y'all play a lot of football. Like, Sundays ain't the only day that y'all put, uh, that y'all put y'all cleats on, bro. Or that y'all work out. Like, and, and I, I feel like. They just need to shorten the season if that's the case. That, that's what they really need to end up doing. Shorten the NBA season? Well, that's too much money you leaving on the, on the table. Yeah. They want to add games. If you, yeah. if you a sports league taking away games, you, you are silly. But yeah. the thing is, uh, these guys just ain't, I don't know, bro. Like, these guys ain't playing. Yeah. But, I mean, I think, well, you're gonna have, you're gonna the conversation. Like you're going to end up having Thonis on the uh, All-NBA team. <laughs> hey, yo, why, bro? Let me ask you this. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Straight up. Let me ask you this right here. If you was an NBA superstar, MVP, super, a champ, all that shit. Yeah. And you knew I just had hoop dreams, bro. You give me, you let me be on the fifteen, bro. You let me, like, you let me. If be I was the man, you was, you was, you was my man, bro. I'm putting you on, bro. I gotta figure out a way to get you in the peace squad, bro. I gotta no. figure it out. At least a ninety <laughs> man. At least a ninety man. <laughs> one I day, gotta, yeah, I gotta, one day, I, no, I gotta figure out how at least to get you, at least get you in a couple of OTA practices, bro. Give me a go with if y'all is able to do that for Thonis for four or five years, bro, I gotta be able to at least. You get see you in me the get job, up and down. Bro. I can get up and down, bro. I'm talking about football. I'm, I'm saying no. I can get up and down, bro. I can move, bro. What's your position? It's the summer. Play? I ain't gonna hold you, bro. And I know that you told me it's gritty out there, bro. Don't do it. But I'm a, I'm a gunner, bro. A gunner? I'm a gunner, oh bro. Oh my god, bro. I wear speed at. I'm a gunner, bro. <laughs> I'm a gunner. No, a no, no, gunner? no, my man, no, no. We're not gunner. What's the uh? What's the dude blocking the blocking the receiver? Blocking? You know the receivers block. What are you talking about? I'm saying though that be on the outside. I'm, I don't feel like I want to say the wrong name. Yeah, on special teams. Oh uh, yeah, that's outside. That's yeah. That what I'm yeah, saying. And the vice and all that. Yeah, all yeah, defense. yeah. That's you me. know them niggas are super duper quick though. I'm like, saying, bro, that's the only way I can live. Like I gotta be able to move. Don't disrespect me. I block. Yo, hey, timestamp. I'm about to drop fifty. When I drop this fifty, I'm gonna be grease lightning. I'm saying all I'm saying. Put me is, out there, if bro. Giannis, if Giannis could keep in <laughs> Thanos. Thanos, if he could keep him in the NBA <laughs> for as long as he's had, there's no reason me and Speed shouldn't be able to get you at least a couple OTA practices. You should at least be able to pull up with the game pants on, <laughs> socks, headband, long sleeve, and get you a, a couple love, tough picks love, no. just with the game. At least, at bare minimum, at bare minimum, me hey, and Speed Tell Ballard give me a 10 Thonis, day. It, bro, no. Tell Ballard give me a 10 day, bro. Look, man, listen, <laughs> this is what I'm going to try to say, bro. Like, because what, like... <laughs> What are we actually doing, bro? And listen, bro. Like, what are we actually doing? As a, as an athlete? No, as a member of her team, bro. I keep trying to say, I understand dynamics of team, bro. Okay. I understand that, like, I don't, like I told you, Odell, like, Odell. Now, mind you, first of all, shout out to Odell because he put on the game. But remember when we was watching yeah. the game, Zay Flowers caught the bomb. Right. Baltimore had a little lost state rhythm. You know, they started off three and out. Uh, Kansas City started off with the tud. Right. Baltimore, LeBar make a great play. Bomb, Zay Flowers. And then 
Odell go and get the celebration going. Man, I got that, son. That's value. Understand something. Okay. Odell, like, at this point in his career, like, now, like, we talked, well, we was watching the game. He should have got, yeah, got more targets. They, they, he should have got more targets. I they, saw that. He should have. But at the same time, the bro, earlier. at the same time, that's his role. He also big bro out there. He so, after Zay Flowers go through that, he done, nah, fuck that. Give me the ball. I yeah. need it. And you saw that. Yeah. And that was what turned him up and actually ended up making it a game at the end, right? For sure. But that's his role on that team. Like, that's a part of the team. That shit is valuable. Like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody yeah. who could rally the troops, bring y'all up when y'all all down, when y'all not believing in yourselves. Like, you need people like that on your team. I understand For sure. that. Now, For what sure. the fuck Don is doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's that. Because he be drawing. Bro. And then he get in the game and be getting texts and shit. Like... <laughs> Why I feel Why? like I'm the only person that want to say this out loud? Do nobody see this shit? <laughs> bro, look, bro, hold on. He's drawing, bro. bro. He's drawing, bro. I can average that shit in the league. I know I could, bro. I swear to God, <laughs> I could. The end, bro. I can average that shit in the league, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I could, bro. Bro, his brother is the best player in the league. And you a trash ass nigga. You let Thonis score on you. I'm not gonna lie to you. You let Thonis score a bucket. Like, it's gotta be that. That's a fine. <laughs> If he get a bucket yeah, on you, yeah, yeah, you come. Yeah, that's a like, team. That's a team. He coming, he coming in like they up thirty or they down there. Like they down the game, 30, yeah. yeah. No, it's that's over. nasty, nasty. Game. Bro, I'm saying though, I gotta, like, I gotta get you. Hey, Shane, Chris, Violet, look, man, we gotta get my man at least a, uh, 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 he at least get run a couple of the one hundreds with us or something, bro. <laughs> and like Thon is like, he been in the league like five years. Hey, don't light me up with it. They gonna have a camera out there waiting for me. Shape, this brother. nigga last. <laughs> <laughs> it's so young, young boy's gonna do you too. I ain't gonna hold you. My, I ain't gonna hold you. My young boy G Stewart, bro, he not playing with hey, you. Bro, bro. Hey, bro, first of all, he don't not hype, playing with you. Don't hype me up. Don't hype me. I'm not letting you do don't that hype to G Steezo. He going he not hey. where is speed where I need hey, him, bro. Don't hype me, bro. Hold speed. Yeah, speed gonna see this. Hey, nah, don't hype me. Don't worry about it. Don't no worry play. about it. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Hey. You gotta come with the linebackers. That's what it would have to be. You nah, have to come with the nah, linebackers. Fuck that. When they when we running when we running the hundreds, I'm hey, I'm gonna come top ten, bro. Top ten what? Top ten. In you gotta run with your position group. You that's what come with the linebackers, bro. Ride with the gang. Ride with the mob. Hey, I don't want you know what I don't want to be personal because if I beat one of y'all, y'all gonna be dang, bro. No, nah, my shoe won't tie. Here niggas go. Here niggas go. Here niggas go. Niggas be, hey, bro. Niggas be, all right. Don't worry about it. We going to, bro, summertime. It's almost here. Anyway, back to the Yeah, because I'm about to say, don't act like that. Like, we ain't run them drones together the one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, before bro, it came last year. Bro, that's what I, bro, I ain't going to hold you. I'm being asleep. I've been, I've been resting on that joint, but I got that joint in the back of my mind. You know and what? That now, 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 now we get into it. Let's get into it. Why you be thinking shit sweet? Yeah, go ahead, go, ahead, go ahead, tell him. Go ahead, tell him what happened. Go ahead, tell him what happened. Hey, first but of all, don't put on my business idea. Though. Just tell all him. Right, we all was right. on the what? All right, niggas was working out. Niggas was working out. You know what I'm saying? Look, it makes, niggas was trying to stay sharp. You know, yeah, what I mean? they do yeah. what they need to do. Yeah. So, look, Dylan, I'm on the jump. Brody, Brody, we on, like, we, on? we on the jugs. We on okay, the jugs. We on the jugs. Everybody that don't know the jug machine, that's the joint to shoot Brody, the football out. Yeah. So I'm first of all, so I'm on the joint. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm chefing them joints out or whatever yeah, like that. Getting right, ta, 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 Brody, ta, ta, ta. like, bro, why did John keep booty woo? I'm, bro, I don't even know. Like, you got to come over here. Like, you know, you do this every day. This is your job. So he go behind the joint. I'm, I'm sitting there, a little row out there with me, woo de woo. Oh, that's crazy. Leave row out of this. That's crazy. We, look, I mean, that's I'm crazy. saying, we, we chilling. We, we, we bobbed up. We bobbed up out there. It's a real situation. The first jump, come out there. Boom. I'm, oh. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch moving fast. Look routine, it looked routine, bro. It looked routine. No, God. when a real player, you just, uh, uh, uh. It looked routine. Hey. But when you really dang. out there trying to do that shit. Hey. Yeah. Hey, look. Hey, dude, look. Yeah. This was so bad, though, right? <laughs> Why after why after the first joint happened, right? I'm like, dang, yeah, cause that joint do got a motor and it's an engine on. <laughs> I said, damn. This no, that bitch is a machine. Bro, no. And it's fire. No, 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 no. That joint, bro, that yeah, joint gang. Yeah. But, but understand though, after the first one, I woke up. <sighs> I, I love it. <sighs> I love that everybody thinks shit sweet out here. Nah, bro. that joint gangster though. Hey, look, nah, hey, <laughs> I, I encourage everybody to get my <laughs> to do that shit one time. And, that's and that crazy. shit wasn't even turned up though. That's what. That's the crazy thing about that shit. Put that joint on hundred next time, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ready you next time. You don't want that shit on hundred. I'm t- first of all, no quarterback is throwing the ball hundred miles per hour. Let's start there. Herbert. They don't throw the ball on. Stop that. They don't throw the ball hundred miles per hour. That's not what's gonna happen. They said Herbert. They said Herbert throw like an eighty. 
Man. He don't throw at 80 miles. First of all, the, all the best quarterbacks throw a catchable ball. That's the, that's the first and foremost. <laughs> that's not catchable? No. Like, you ever watch a quarterback and every time they just, uh, and, the, and the receiver's jumping and shit? Like, no, that, that, that that's too much. They said Favre was breaking people's fingers. See, that's silly. Why are you doing that? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But he got all the jackets and, and, and rings and shit, though, so. No, I, wait, is it, I think it was Favre and Marino they said that we used to be on No, Marino throw a catchable ball. Marino throw? Yeah, he's most accurate. I, Marino not breaking fingers. Marino, Marino got, he got, he got touch. Got a nice he, touch. Yeah, yeah. With the he, they say Marino looked like the best ever, though. I believe ever, like a lot of the OGs, they said yeah. it, but he ain't never get the ring. They he say he went to the Super Bowl, was it his rookie year? You don't know. That, that's why I think we so. need Brian. Brian, the football historian. Shout out to Brian. I think so. Oh, yeah. And then he, went just, to, he went to the, he went to, or the off. Super Bowl or the AFC Championship early in his career, and it was just like, oh, man, look, this is starting run. Then he never went back. Damn. But he ended up being a legend, though. That 13 yeah, is a legend. because he's a great player. Uh, you know, like, I, he's definitely the most accurate quarterback of all time. But that. that's what they say. It's tough. When you, like, I'm telling you, it's tough every year to just assume that you're going to be in that position. Yeah. It's not It's not a guarantee, bro. Football is, is truly a roll of dice. Look at the playoffs this year. I think they say we have four or five teams that didn't make the playoffs last year and made the playoffs this year. Yeah. Super sidebar, though. Can we, like, because I know you mentioned it before, but like, earlier today. But, yo. The Lions never making it to a Super Bowl game in the 58 years of the Super Bowl is crazy, bro. I was thinking about it. I said, damn, they ain't make, it's two teams that go, I ain't make one. It's not easy, though. No, I give, I give that, bro. Yeah, that's, that joint is Look wild, what they though. did. They team. Yeah. Stack. And it was Coaches, crazy. Stack. Team. Yeah. Team got everything you need. No, for sure. Hutchinson. Uh, Brian Branch, the young boy Jamo, golf, yeah. Gibbs, Gibbs yeah. out there cooking, snapping. Yeah, and y'all look, y'all had the the bullies on the ropes for sure. It's not easy. It's that's not easy. wild, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's tough, bro. Yeah, that was that was a wild. Yeah, no, nah, to never make the Super Bowl is uh crazy, but that's what that's. But I, I think that speaks to the legend of what they did. That yeah. team gonna be looked at forever now. Is they just? I don't like that everybody just throwing them in the trash now. I ain't gonna hold you. Chicago definitely trying to re up. Yeah, Green Bay. They got some. They figured some shit out during the playoffs, bro. I don't know. That's one of them. Yeah, <laughs> that's and, one of them scary teams out there. Y'all about, niggas better hope Jordan Love come back to earth because if he just act like that, if that's who he become, if he figured out who he is, and that's just who he is. Yeah. Damn, we gotta play Green Bay this year. Nah, fuck them now. Now, fuck them. Take all. I take all that shit back. I ain't <laughs> all the love, with you. Jordan. Yeah, all the love. I just take it back. I just take fuck it back. Out yeah, here. fuck out of here. I ain't fucking with you no more ever again. That's what I mean. I'm a Hey, shout out to hey man. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's 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 crazy, bro. Like I said, to watch, you know, to see all the melee of the league. Now it it, it leads up to. A all week? right, look. I know we finishing up. Let's get into it because you've been wanting to get into it for a long time, bro. Ooh, now yeah. I'm gonna just start here. I went with Candace. I fell asleep. I'm gonna just start right there. Oh, my goodness. Let's get into Color Purple, bro. <laughs> Let's do it. Because you've been wanting to talk about the Color Purple. Color Purple has been on the board for the last four or five pods. I swear. And we just skipped over it. Now, I'm going to just say this. Before I saw it, Speed, DT, and I think, nah, d ain't going to see that shit. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> d ain't going to watch no shit like that. Uh, it was somebody else in the room. They seen that, John. And I felt a little left out. Because it was like during our morning uh, lift, okay. and everybody was just like, "Yeah, man, I ain't gonna hold you." Like they was, <laughs> they was on some shit. They like afterwards, they were just, you know, taking out the trash, <laughs> just <laughs> cleaning up in the kitchen. Nah, man, you ain't got no anywhere. I'm gonna hit these dishes. Real I got that. Up. Yeah, it was a whole lot of that going on and shit. A whole lot of harpos. Yeah, yeah, whole lot. Yeah, whole lot. Of you, a just, whole lot of you just feel sad about shit. You just, yo, no, nah, man, I'm just gonna treat my black queen the way she <laughs> needs to be treated. You know what I mean? It was a whole lot of that going on. I'm be honest. I had a long day when I went to see that bitch. I sat down. <laughs> I that missed been that about boy. three hours long. Now Fantasia cooked that bitch, but you for know sure. what I mean, that's pretty much all I got. For sure. You loved it though. <laughs> I I thoroughly enjoyed um the color purple. Um like obviously as I talked about before, man, like I think that leading up to the movie, you didn't expect or you didn't kind of know what you were going to get on screen when you heard that it was about to be sort of a musical. But I actually think that there was a great acting job being done. Um, I would compare it to anybody who has it, and I'm pretty sure y'all have by now. I would compare it to like the singing aspects of it being like dream girls more so than it being about. Whoa, their buddy. Don't do that, bro. 
Don't do that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Don't do that. Don't do that. Or don't do that. what whole what whole don't say? Do don't do that, bro. Do don't you do listen to my lyrics or do you just skim through no, it? Do you listen to what I'm saying? No, because hold on, bro. Because it's a, it's some it's some shit that you really don't know about me, though, bro. It's some <laughs> bro, shit that you really don't. know I'm about I'm just me. saying. I mean, I, I, Dream I just Girls think... is one of my top five favorite movies. And judge your mother. Don't judge me. <laughs> Start there. Dream bro. Girls is my shit. That's but like understand. really one of my favorite movies. Right, right, right. But listen to what I'm saying Do to you. Do you know bro. I was in a Dream Girl play? First of all, Dream Girl's not that old. <laughs> so you was in plays? Who I'm you, not who lying. You? I'm dead who ass. You? I think I was uh, Jamie Foxx. You was Fox? Yeah. You had a lead role? Yeah. I oh, that bitch out. Dead ass. man. What do you say? We have a family. <laughs> like a giant tree. <laughs> Raising up, up to the, the sky. sky. <laughs> hey, that's really my shit, though, bro. Hey, yo. I'm dead ass, so I'm not lying. F-E-S off the stage, <laughs> nigga. And I am telling you, I'm not going nowhere. You're hey. the best man. Okay. I've ever known <laughs> there's no way I could ever go. No, no, no there's no, no way. way. No, no. Nah, but look, I'm all I'm saying, but this is my comparison is that like the I'm song not, breaks in the color purple were comparable I don't to that of the Dream Girls. Like it wasn't like how everybody made it seem, like it was like all a Broadway. <laughs> A Broadway vibe. Dream Girls is my shit. Dream Girls Great way movie. over Color Purple. We ain't doing this. Ain't anyway, doing man, this. like I was saying. Way over Color Purple. Like I was saying. We ain't doing this. And Beyonce was in that joint. She was. But, yeah, like I said, this, the Color Purple was just like a, a, it was supposed to, like I said, it was advertised as a musical, but I think they did some, some great acting in there. But moving on from the movie, um, there are rumblings that um, someone is supposed to be getting sued. Um, sued? Who they suing? The they, movie suing somebody? I mean, the conversation is that Oprah could be potentially pursuing legal action. I don't want to say sued. Pursuing legal action for uh, conversations that she felt like that Taraji had that kind of defaced the movie. I remember seeing a lot of Taraji uh, pretty much going through um, some her dealings pretty much out in public. For sure. I mean, I seen, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. A couple people we just realized don't deal with them in public. Like okay, Tyler Perry, okay, Oprah, leave them alone. They are don't the powers that, that be, <laughs> and sure. they work together. So like, just sure. leave them alone, bro. Yeah, Monique still ain't get that bread. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, chill on Monique, bro. <laughs> but look, I mean, I this was something a conversation I did have offline. Um, I would say you know. Is Taraji 100% in the right for, you know, fighting for her um, her value in that space and what she is to us? I believe so. I think that that was a, is a great thing that she was doing. But I just don't know if this was the time. I don't know if this was the movie. I don't know if this was the space for that. Because when you watch The Color Purple, the very first one, this is kind of like a little bit of the analysis in the movie. Like when you watch the first one, you understand how pivotal Sugar Avery was in that movie. And this one... I don't know so much. I would say it was more. Uh, who did uh, Tasty play? Tasty from uh, Orange is the New Black. Oh, um, um, not Effie. Uh, what's it? Sophia? Mm-hmm. Yes, Sophia. I think that was more. She played more of a pivotal role. Now, mind you, I fell asleep. No, but you're not wrong though. Sophia, it, it was. It was you truly. Who you, who you like? Her or Oprah's? I kill him dead before I let Harpo beat me. Who you like? Who you like better? Her or Oprah? I like her better. <gasps> Over Oprah? <laughs> Yo, you, wow. Let me, can I, can I explain? I think that the young lady that just finished playing Sophie, Sophia One did an excellent job, but I think that Oprah, Oprah gave Sophia more depth. You, get, you got a more a better understanding of why she was growing up yeah, and doing like that, the things I feel she's like the doing. original movie gave it more depth anyway. I feel like. You think so? Yeah, I think. Her, I think, her I think, character, Sophia's character? I think the whole movie had more depth the first time. The first one, I'll give you that. That's true. But I I just feel like that her character amongst the others in the movie was really the one that you could follow. Let me say this. I mean, I agree with you to that point, though. Like, mm. it's hard to necessarily have Taraji's back in this moment because of all the movies that we've seen you do and all the roles that we, we didn't see you in, 
was this film the one where you were supposed to basically make your stand? Now, I also understand, like, we're not victim blaming here now. You know, For sure. No, she no, She no. might have just been fed up. It might have just been in a, a culmination of some years and she probably couldn't hold on to it no more and just let it go. I mean, yeah. that could have been that, but yeah. I don't know. I just feel like the color purple was just that. I, I be feeling like every, like, twice a year, we just be having black moments. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. when... Black Panther came out the first time. I remember that shit. I was training for the draft. They, we was getting buses from Syracuse. The bros, we was getting yeah. buses from Syracuse to the, the movie to theater. The movie theater. Like we mm-hmm. written out theaters and all the whole hood going to go see this John yeah. Black Panther. We support this shit not failing on us. Shout out to Nottingham. Yeah. When Black Panther forever came out, we was moving. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We, we was we, going. It was some movement because we was really trying to support Chadwick. Yeah, you know what I mean, it was more about Chadwick. Yeah. Uh, what's another joint? You feel me? Like it'd be certain movies that I feel like it'd be like, all right, it's a black director, black lead. Uh, for a Hampton story. Yeah. Oh, uh, you talking about um, not Sheep and Wolf Clothing? What the hell is that shit called? The Black Messiah. The Black Judas and the Black Messiah. But that came out during the pandemic, and that happened on HBO Max. I feel like that was in terms of like how you're speaking of it in the comparison of it. Like the oh the black community the hype, movement. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, we, that. Yeah, I feel the yeah, same yeah, way yeah, about yeah, yeah. it's just like whenever I, any of our other favorites do something, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if uh uh when Jordan Peele uh when he dropped uh not the first one because everybody didn't know that was gonna be good. Was that Get Out? Get everybody out. didn't know that yeah, was gonna be good. Was first good, of all, first sure. of all, with the Get Out, I'm like this shit a fucking comedy. I'm like this shit ain't funny. <laughs> first of all, I was in that bitch like I ain't laughing at all. All the white folks thought that shit was hilarious. Though. I'm a chill though. Uh, <laughs> the but, second one he put the out. second one us yeah, or whatever us, that was that yeah. shit sucked but everybody we went migrated out, everybody went out movement we I feel like Color Purple was one of them everybody gonna go out support it you know it's a black film they were remaking it Fantasia first of all Fantasia did her damn thing in that movie bro bravo excellent job Miss bravo Fantasia excellent carried job. in that joint she bro shout job. out to Tasia bro yeah. I had to go back and spend that you know what I mean excellent job yeah but it was it was a super sad boy cause I wanna let you keep let you keep cooking it was very exciting, and I think, and I think, I don't want to jinx her, but I hope that this is the start of her doing something well. Uh, is it? Is it? Is it's Chloe and what's the sister name? Haley. Haley. Oh, Yo, I love Haley. Haley. I love Haley and them. You, a hey, Haley. Haley is elite. You bro. showing that yeah. diversity yeah, like Haley that? Was elite. It's Haley was tough. Elite. They killing her for having a baby and not telling everybody. That 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 group think allegiance is crazy. I yeah, need it. I need wild. it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Zaire Hive members. <laughs> members. Members. Let's do it. Let's weaponize. <laughs> her. Let's, let's take over. Let's take over. Let's do it. Hey, look, they better not give me a fucking army like the Barb's. But oh, bro, you going crazy with that? Like, bro? If I get if I get a stand like the Barb's or Beyonce's, they they better not. <laughs> Ziggy's army. I'm a Z's army. I, I'm, let me stop before I get myself in trouble with that shit. I'm, <laughs> That's crazy. I'm a, I'm but, a, we storming ha- the Capitol. Halle, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Hey, 86. New Jersey. <laughs> 86. And, and be joking. Man, you know what we got? <laughs> nah, yeah. Yeah. But Ooh, no, yeah. Got, Halle, yeah, Halle yeah, definitely nah, got yeah, that, though, Nah, man. but Quick yeah. Uh, synopsis, Color Purple is not fucking with dream girls at all in any, anywhere, in any universe. Are ever, you okay? Ever. No, I'll take Did you watch Dream the movie? Girls is really one of my favorite movies, bro. Did you watch both of the movies? Yeah. I, I fell asleep on one of them. Yeah, I know. But I've seen a good part of it. No. I missed, <laughs> let me see, I fell asleep somewhere after, uh, somewhere after when she said, uh, you too hard to beat me. I fell asleep like maybe like 10 minutes after that and I woke up uh, somewhere, <laughs> <laughs> somewhere around, uh, What's uh Taraji carried the name? Sugar Avery. She sent something to Fantasia to let her know something. She's getting married. They got cool. Eyes married yeah, now. they got cool, and then everybody got back in some kumbaya together. I woke up right like ten minutes before that. I want to let you know that you missed forty percent of the movie. No, nah, no, nah, yes, I you ain't did. Snore though. I ain't snore. I ain't one of them. I ain't one. Of, I wasn't snore. You ain't Candy, Candy would have hit me with an elbow though. She. We'll talk about that on another like that. We'll talk about that. Me and Candy about the rumble midnight sleep and shit. She elbowed me. I'm kicking this shit. <laughs> not, none of that though. Not, not on no Harpo shit. Yeah, chill. Um, but yeah, no, nah, that was um, yeah, it was a good, good show. But you know, we'll wait to see. We'll wait to see the next good black film. I'm excited for it. Make sure that you go check out Snoop's mo- new movie. We will tune in. We'll make that required viewing, required watching. And Marley's. And can you please watch P- Power Pub? Like, come on, let's let's just do it, bro. Come on, what is it? Hey, man, we appreciate you just kicking it with the guys today, man. Sure. Look, we just kicked it. We talked a little football, a little whatever. Pro mm-hmm. Bowl weekend, Super Bowl weekend this February, man. Look, man, 
Another year, baby. Take advantage of these days, man. Let's do it, baby. Yes, sir. Until next time, baby. Hey.